Începe. Începe. You are live. The internet can totally see you now. To stop, use your encoder. Okay. So we are live. Zero people watching. That's a start. <laughs> We are live? Yep. Yes, we are. Very live. Hello, we are alive. Yes. Kuma Brasa, uh, now I really want to make sure that the music is not too loud so it won't take over your voice, Marianne, because you're so important. Ah, whatever. Okay. Ah. Let's hope everyone can hear us, but the people that will come. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's yeah. like 2 o'clock. Yeah. It's Friday, so people will be out of it, I think. Yeah, probably. But we are thinking positively right now. So yes. Yeah, mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> Live painting. I wonder how many people has the guts to do this sometimes. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay. First things first, what brush do I want to use? This one. Gonna make a rough little sketch. You should uh, use a big one. Nah, I mean, I should kill all the white, but right now, I don't know. Because I do have a Photoshop composition that I did. Curious if this will be any good. And if people will see anything, I'm a little bit zoomed in right now, but let's see. Uh, so I haven't painted in like forever. So this is going to be interesting. You mostly done uh, drawing. Yeah, uh, since I live in such a small place. I'm, I'm starting to fix it. I have uh, some friends right now that are going to come over at my place to, you know, I'm going to construct a loft bed. <laughs> uh. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, I live in Stockholm. It's really expensive. I swear to God, if this was Photoshop, it would be so much more relaxing to do. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know the feeling, but yeah. it's so good to have... Um, raw for a sketch or uh, some concept idea yeah. uh, to look at when you're working uh, even if it's uh, tra traditional mm. like it really speed up the process oh yeah i mean right now i think i would have had everything filled in by now ah oh well it's fun either way so i'm actually doing what i'm kind of good at a bird of course and a portrait <laughs> the most simplest stuff mm? nice well what i mean by simple is that it's not particularly any story behind it but i'm just hoping that it's gonna be something fun that will come to be as fun i don't have the chat can some of you have the chat if people go like hey what painting what brush do you use you know the first thing people ask when it comes to digital art so what brushes do you use? Yes. Jeremy Jones brushes and uh, Ruan Gia brushes or what the fuck they say. Yeah. But I, I think it's pretty normal to find uh, some tools that you are comfortable with because at least in my case, if I don't have the things that I like to work with, I work very um, uh, slowly or oh, I yeah. don't like the end result that much well I do agree because for example my problem with Photoshop and I was talking with my boyfriend about this when I work in Photoshop I tend to go too soft way mm. too soft mm -hmm. so uh, I've been trying to like get more of a harder brush to work with in Photoshop but I still end up you know fuzzy dazzy it's so annoying not sure how to oh yeah uh, if you guys want to know how I did it in Photoshop so I picked up some references via the internet of course and I actually changed the face that I'm using so I've used this thing called liquefied in Photoshop 
and make uh, made her a little bit more weird. I'm lately a lot into Asian chicks, so it's gonna be an Asian chick. And it's nothing the sexist Asian about it. The They're so pretty, my lord. Yes, and and yeah. like their face is like perfect or something. It's so weird. Yeah, I know. It's like some of them have like perfect skin. Yes. So jelly. Okay, I think so far the sketch looks great. Blame the genetics. Yeah, I do blame the genetics for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna make the back, well, the background, let's say like the first layer. The colors I chosen is gonna be like blue, red. Her face is not really like skin colors. I want to make her a little bit more pale, and her nose is gonna be reddish and her cheeks reddish. Yeah. So, uh,. Let's see. Yeah, I'm I'm going to get my inks and my water and my everything, so I'll be right back. Yeah, sure, no worries. Marianne, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm just going to draw. Disgusting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I should paint more. Well, I, at the point, I think I was talking about painting being easier it's, it's not that it's easier it takes time it's technical approaches and stuff but with pencil somehow it's easier because there's no pressure of color because right now that's yeah. my pressure I'm like yeah. oh my lord I have to put color down here yeah yeah I kind of feel the same but uh, painting like for example I just remember that I want to have transparency the color is going to be blue, like the sky, but I want to have like some pink tones underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with me, painting is more like... I don't, I don't know, I get too much anxiety while I'm painting. Well, you know, I'm having anxiety, right? Well, not anxiety, but I am uh, quite stressed. Well, you know, the stress that you know that some people might actually see you. So it is normal, you're not the only one who feels this way. It's just a matter of yeah, just yeah. getting used to it, you know? Yeah. And we did talk about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember I was talking with, with Miles as well, and even he, he has like, you know, when he paints with other people, we all like a bit of privacy as well. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, like, oh, I'm just gonna paint live in front of everyone. But I kind of want to get used with people watching me paint because I'm gonna go to a festival in England and I will paint. Yeah, I'm gonna be painting live, and that's even more extreme because I have nowhere to hide. I think I'm just gonna be red in the cheeks. Mm -hmm. uh, when are you gonna go? It's gonna be next year, as I know, in June. 17 it's like a retreat in england a retreat and workshop for like painting and stuff i still need to go through the <coughs> things let's see if there's any people on the stream oh there you go it's 10 people hello 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 hey axe oh i was really thinking about you axe back <coughs> Hello. Hello uh, I really can't have Hello. the chat, so I will depend on my two friends to tell me if you guys want to know anything, since I am struggling with filling all of this in. Let's see if I can also make this one. There you go. You guys don't need to see everything. So this is going to be the birdie, and this is going to be the head. And I will actually kind of do this as an a la prima. Do you guys know what a la prima is? Uh, I can't read. Is anyone saying anything? <laughs> no. No, but, uh, well, a la prima is basically I'm gonna try, like, when I start the head, I'm gonna try to finish the head. And, I don't know, maybe I'll go back to it again. We'll see. It's like finishing it in one go. And see yeah. How it will be. Pretty much. Pretty neat, but pretty hard in my opinion, especially with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's easy at all. Uh, somehow it feels like you need to be very <coughs> patient 
but yet yeah, you know I'm, you're pressured that you don't have time and it's like oh great mm -hmm. I don't have time and especially in um, decision making you have to be patient like don't rush it usually because mm -hmm. uh, it's very hard to go back you know in my opinion what mm, it depends if it's too wet uh, that's the thing if it's too wet yeah you will have a problem because you need to scrape it off so you can come with, let's say you have a red and you want to make it more yellow, but the red keeps blending. So you have to scrape it off. Mm. So mm. that is the frustration part of it. Okay, I am gonna... And I usually work wet, so yeah, m maybe that's the problem. Okay, I need to raise this one up. <laughs> and have such a fancy... Easel. Yeah. <coughs> That's a very nice easel. It's beautiful. I mean, uh, a friend of mine actually bought it for me because I didn't have money to buy it. So, thank God. Is it too dark, the image, uh, the image, guys? It does feel a little bit dark. There. And, uh, bit what I think it will do yeah the problem yeah. is with also painting uh, I will have to do everything on my own because mm. you know I'm, I'm so imba one day I'll hire a little slave like Marianne throw a potato at him and go like <laughs> make sure I look gorgeous in the camera Let's see. okay that's pretty sharp Okay, I'm gonna start working on the face. I'm not sure how zoomed in you guys want this to be. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Yeah, I'm, start I'm starting to improve, but I'm so anxious. Yeah. For example, Axa, he said like, no pencils, no pencils. No, so this is gonna be a bit stressful. I'm actually very red in the cheeks right now. Since I haven't been painting in like ages, now we'll actually have to do this. Let's see if my You'll be is... fine, Theo. You'll be fine. Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Positivity again. Well, I can be positive if I work on my own. <clears throat> Let's see, what brushes do I want to use? At the beginning, I like to use Bristol brushes, which is basically. If there's any vegans on my channel, you will not like this. So it's basically pig hair. And I really like it because it's very rough. Now, let's make a skin tone. So let's see if you guys can see my colors. So right now I'm actually thinking of using either this color which is like a artificial red it's not cadmium i try not to use any more toxic paints alizarin crimson transparent red oxide uh i don't use ivory yeah, that's a nice one that's really nice i don't use ivory black anymore i actually use mars black because it's more of a bluer tint than ivory black and then i have raw umber titanium white uh what was this one called red umber and then i have ultramarine blue a non-toxic yellow and then yellow uh ochre so right now i want to get a skin tone that's quite bright yet quite not super saturated but let's see it's all about mixing colors <coughs> So, this will be a little bit scary what I'm gonna do. This is something I used to do quite a lot. I still want to have a certain drawing in there. Uh, About mixing, do you usually mix colors uh, on the go or do you pre mix? I used to pre mix, but now I just do it on the go, which is quite dangerous because I can get quite muddy. Mm. Yeah, that's the problem. And now I don't have any prematura on my canvas, which is like killing all the whites, how I say it. 
and because of that that white might interfere with my actual values so that's one reason I'm kind of looking for a decent color I also need to pour some medium in my medium <coughs> cup let's see I usually use poppy oil whoops as a medium I uh, I think I really like that color uh, that medium poppy oil bleached poppy oil Is it because it dries slower? Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes when I do um, a la prima, and let's say that I might not be able to finish it, I use a lot of poppy oil. And it's also thinner than the other oils. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's see how this will be, if it's going to fail. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with the general tone. Yeah, this is good. So that's the thing right now because I have this annoying white. Usually I like to paint quite transparent and because of that, I really need to like push in the color to kill the white. So frustrating. I, I wanted to put like into my chart, but I couldn't find my, oh yeah, I usually use acrylic. And I have like a raw umber acrylic color. And acrylic, it's kind of like this one that I use for the sketch. And it, it usually dries out super fast because it's acrylic anyways. Do you like more working in oils or acrylic? I hate acrylic. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Yeah, I saw Yes but I, I think painting with acrylics and I was like that <clears throat> that guy. Yeah, he's he's insane with he's acrylics so and he's impressive. working so fast. Yeah. It's insane. I mean when I saw him painting, I was like oh, 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 oh. I actually filmed him. <laughs> nice. Yep. I can give you the video but I need to take away the sound because it's kinda stupid. Okay, so the, the difficult part with what I'm doing right now is that I'm experimenting. If this was an academic painting, sure, I would just, you know, paint the face as my reference shows me. But I want to, like, exaggerate colors. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. So let's see. I'm going to put the nose a little bit more down. The eye is going to be here. Just gonna have a little bit more hair. Let's see, I don't wanna go too small. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of videos and some people, they don't even do what I'm doing. They just start with the lip and just move around the face. That's something I might end up doing as well, since this is more of an a la prima. <coughs> and this is the tricky part, because I have that annoying white I need to just be so careful how I do this. It's really frustrating. So it feels like I'm not going white enough. So I think I'm going to stop doing this and kill the rest of the whites around the face. Oh yeah, I'm cleaning up my brush. Let's see if you guys can see it. And this. You can buy this one on Amazon. It's like a cleaning bucket. And I don't use turpentine. I use something called Zestit, which is like a citrus. Uh, because I live in a very small flat. And trust me, I don't want to kill my lungs. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the same problem when I used to paint in high school. Yeah. Uh, I painted more in oils. And because of that, I used turpentine to clean my brushes. Yeah. And I got pretty sick because of that. Yeah. And uh, I started stopping working in uh, uh, oils and traditionally. But, no, but mostly when I was home. I usually go to uh, other places to paint. I think you should really try and uh, use this 
one that I'm using, the, zest, the Zested. It's really, really good. I don't think I can use anything else. Yeah, I think that would help. Yeah, it's helping me, I can tell you that. And also, for example, I really want to have this kind of reds as a contour for the face. I've experimented in Photoshop and I really like that uh, color. It's okay. so convenient, that digital medium, but it's not always that good because of that. I mean, it has its drawbacks. You never stop. You just want to keep on going. That's what I've noticed. Mm. Like, oh, I like or this color. Oh, I like uh, this. So I just do it. Sorry, what? For me, is that you can end up doing the same routine and the same thing, like uh, technique-wise, mm -hmm. like and the process. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I think. I mean, if you've got a uh, process that works, why bother uh, figuring out another one? That's interesting. I don't know. I never felt that way towards Photoshop. <coughs> it actually helped me experiment more than just being stuck. I think when I was actually, let's say, doing, uh, uh, like, let's say illustrations, I was always very angry that I couldn't just let it go and make things sharper. I always mm. was doing the same softness and I was really, really annoying. Mm, that was in the past for me because now I like to experiment more in uh, with Photoshop, but that was a trap that I got in. Mm. I mean, it was so convenient and so easy, it, and I started to forget about experimenting things and having fun trying to figure out new ways. Mm. But uh, that's one thing I liked about your work when I uh, uh, discovered you. Discovered you. <laughs> uh, I really like the fact, like the one that you used colored pencils and then ink as well. Oh, yeah. That's that's so nice. I really like that. So I want to start doing the same thing, actually. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm so curious about what uh, results you will have. Yeah, we'll see. The older you get, the more things you have to do. You don't have time for anything anymore. Yeah. I know. I have yet to see that. Enjoy the time <laughs> while you still can. Sounds so dramatic. But it's so true. It is. I mean, you have like, friends and all that stuff. I mean, I have finally, I'm starting to get more commissions. And when I was younger, I was like, oh, I need commissions. I need commissions. And now I'm like, oh my God, I don't have time to do my personal stuff. I have commissions. I have commissions. So it is a little bit funny. Of course, I'm not complaining at all for getting commissions because this is what keeps me going with my my art so far. Thank God. So this is just great. If this was pencil, I would have approached it very differently, I think. And this is the thing that I like uh, when you're changing the mediums. It makes you think about the piece in another way. So true. So true. But it, it is interesting, isn't it? That it does that to you. Yeah. And this is about the tools too, I think. Like, for example, if you have an all, um, all point pan, and um, uh, the pan with that liquid, more like in, um, it doesn't have the pressure. You know what I mean? I think I do. It's like a pan and you put inside the liquid, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one. Mm. Uh, 
uh, in in most of the part it's both ink or some um, or something around that mm -hmm. but you're working differently with them even though it's uh, not that different mm. but you have to um, uh, think about a different approach yeah true I mean, right now I have to think in colors and what I'm doing is that I'm building up the face as I would do with sculpting. In my way. Some mm. people might disagree that that's not how you do it. I don't give a damn. I've done my academic studies. I'm tired of that. I'm just going to do what I want and experiment, which is dangerous, to be honest. That's not how you do it, Theo. Marianne, you can uh, log off if you want. <laughs> We don't, we don't need you here. You can just fuck off. No, we love you, Marianne. Like yeah. for example, right now, this looks for me, this looks so interesting. And when I was doing my <laughs> studies at the school, I would never dare to do this. I had to make it like academic and all that stuff. Now mm. I'm just enjoying being free. And somehow it's much easier to do this stuff than uh, when I was in school. Because I think it's only mm -hmm. uh, normal to be easier because you've done so much in school and you learned so many things. Now you can play around with the knowledge you have. But if you didn't have that knowledge, it would be much harder. Oh, I so love play. the Romanian accent. It's so cute. Oh. Do I have an accent when you guys listen to me? I do, right? A little bit. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Somewhat, I, I like it. A bit, uh, vampire -like. Yeah, that's uh, what my boyfriend tells me, is that I sound like Count Dracula, so, yeah. I'm starting to get into this. I think, I'm so sorry, whoever is on the stream, one reason I'm into this is because I'm not looking at who is on the stream. I don't even know what numbers we have, and don't tell me. I don't need to know. <laughs> so far, it's good. <laughs> I think it's maybe around five or something. That's good. The, I don't want any big people going on right now on the stream. <laughs> okay, now I need to figure out how I want to do this. Oh, I really am enjoying this. I wonder how red in the face I am. And I know from Sergeant's notes, uh, and I remember from Richard Schmidt, around the cheeks, of course, if it's a girl in the nose, you have more of a reddish tone. Around here, you have more like yellow ochre. Here, maybe you have a little bit of red. <sighs> and the forehead. Thank you. Mulțumesc, Mariani, mulțumesc. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying my best to keep it loose and build up the shapes. Mm. And I do have references, but I'm so proud of myself for changing it and not being so stuck to it. Coming from a very academic, uh, you know, training thing, I'm, yeah, I just want to be like, oh, but that angle is off. I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm just gonna go for it and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta help. Where's my cat? Okay, she's sleeping. I wanted to like start. Yeah, I wanted to start the live stream earlier, but she has the poopsies. She has a very bad stomach, so I had to take her out for a little baby. She was like. It's like Misha, I have to start the live stream. <laughs> so I had to take her out. <coughs> yeah, I know, poor baby. Thank God with this cat. It's the only thing that takes me out of the apartment. I was supposed to meet up a friend today for lunch, and I'm like, I wanna. I'm not feeling that good yet because yesterday I felt quite sick. But I was like, I really want to paint so bad. My god, I think the music is spot on for what I'm doing right now. 
So right now I'm gently just adding some, let's say, details to kind of get an idea of where things will be. We'll see if I'm going to go this much red. I'm going to change my brush at the point to something, how do you call it, uh, thinner. I usually use the bristles when I sketch because it somehow keeps me loose. It, I don't get too fast into uh, details. Okay. Yeah. So I imagine it's like in Photoshop when you're working, you're trying to keep yourself as loose and uh, you're zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. So you don't get too stuck up to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I used to have that issue. It was a very, very stressful thing because I was like this painting so close. So now I'm trying to keep a distance. And I remember my teacher, Hans. Oh, he hated me so much. He was like, can you stop being so close to your painting? And I was I had such a oh. strong ego. I was like, Bing, I can't see. I need to be close to my painting so I can see <laughs> what I'm doing. Oh, poor Hans. So glad that he had to deal with my shit, uh, with my stuff. I'm a uh, different way around. I'm so loose and I'm finding a hard time putting uh, in the details. Oh my god, I wish I was more like you. I wish I was more like you, so... <laughs> well, let's uh, take our DNA and make a clone and make half-half so we can see what happens. Oh yes, exchanging and... Uh, no. How, how is it? Cutting um, uh, is cutting. Yes. I am so excited to paint the bird. Uh, I don't know what species this is, but it's like the red is face and then it has black feathers around the head. It's so nice. Birds are so fascinating. I love but animals birds. in general. They're goddamn dinosaur. We're actually, when I eat chicken, I'm like thinking, oh my god, I'm actually eating a dinosaur. God damn it. I wish we can just invent something where we can just take a pill, eat, get all the nutrition, and that's that. Yeah, <laughs> would be so easy. It would be so easy, definitely. But so expensive as we know in which world we are living in. I really, I really hope it's gonna be someone that's gonna do that because I would so totally stop eating animals and vegetables as well. <laughs> I mean, it's delicious and all, but I prefer not having to spend three hours to goddamn cook. And I'm a woman, and I hate doing that. Ugh. Ugh. Um, maybe you guys can look from time to time on the live on, on the chat if someone is asking something I'm depending on you guys. That's one reason yeah. I asked you guys to be with me right now Ed, but uh, There's no no questions so far cool. I don't have to stress them oh. I'm I'm having the um, uh, Live open on my other monitor so. Oh, you have two yeah. monitors Wow Okay, let's see if I'm gonna feel more. I'm not sure which brush I want to use. The one on the left is I don't know if it's synthetic or natural moon glows. I'm not sure, but either way, I love that brush. It's more softer. And the other one, oh, I think my camera just died. <sighs> no, it doesn't look that good. No. Or maybe. No, I heard it click. Yeah, oh. it stopped. God damn it. Oh, yeah. I need to plug yeah. it in to charge it as well. Yeah, Marianne, I need to get uh, something for my camera so uh, it doesn't uh, need, you know, replacement for the battery because it is quite annoying that I have to do this. Yeah, I think you can get a grip for that. Yeah? Yeah, and you can put like two batteries instead of one. Two bat? Oh, yeah, like you had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're back. Back on track. Yeah, oh my god, the contrast is horrible in the image. What the hell? 
Thank God I saw it. It uh, it appeared. No. It, yeah, but I, I I'm not sure why is it so dark. It's so contrasty. White balance, auto, neutral. Uh, yeah, let's see. Wait, no, this is getting darker. There you go. That's better. Okay, cool. We're back live. I need to put the battery to charge. This is what I mean. It's really challenging. You're doing all of this on your own. And I'm also painting. I hope people are having fun. Somehow. I don't know. Let's hope so. They better. I'm a bit bad. Are you stressed? Okay. Yeah, well, not that stressed, but a little bit anxious with what I'm doing right now. Because I have not pl uh, planned everything I wanted to do. So I have to make, it, make them on the spot. Well, and, uh, stop and plan it. Are not like I know, but just stop. Leave the main work a little bit alone and just do some sketches so you can get some ideas. That's what I will do if I will get too stressed about it. Sometimes when I paint and I'm completely stuck, I uh, was very stubborn before. I was always painting on it but now i just take a photo put it in photoshop change it so i don't have to constantly change my painting mm. mostly if i overdid it and stuff like that so that's basically what i do i really want to get this done and uh I think I can work on some things that are not that um, st stressful about this piece, mm. but I want to push it. I don't know if it's the best choice I do, but I don't want to really stop and work on something else. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I have some paintings up in the attic that I've never finished. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. Some people, uh, when I show that painting to them, they're like, why haven't you finished this? I'm like, because I freaking hate it. I can't look at it. It makes yeah, me angry. Yeah, I didn't feel like uh, finishing it. Okay. Yeah. That type of attitude. I don't know. I think most of this stuff are unfinished, so... Speak for yourself. Yeah. It's true. Very true. I mean, it's hard to determine what qualifies as finished. Because it's kind of like, as time goes by, your expectations of what you're doing are growing higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that when that happens? I don't know. A lot of anxiety. and Because uh... that's the thing. For me right now, I used to have extreme anxiety to the point where I couldn't start working. Like I was just procrastinating and I was having anxiety because I was procrastinating. And when I was starting the painting, yeah. I was having anxiety because I had to start the painting. Because it's not easy to be creative and actually painting. We have the pressure of society, going to work, uh, making an income, and I think... I don't really care about more, it's more like, uh, I think the biggest pressure that I have is from myself. Because it's... And it usually is the case. Regarding the pressure from society, I don't think that's a help. Well, I think you hate most of society, Maria. <laughs> nah. You, you hate everyone equally. That's what I always tell people. And like, I know that I've learned yeah, that yeah. from you. Yeah. I don't hate you because you're a woman. I just hate everyone because, you know, we're all equal. Yeah. And my hatred has to go to everyone. Yeah. M maybe I'll butcher this name, but uh, hey, Joe's Guzman. Who? Say again? Joe's Guzman. I'm sorry for butchering it. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my stressful live stream where I'm trying not to make a fool of myself and paint. 
And about the creativity part, I read uh, in an interview with Yoshita Kamano that he said he usually spends about 30 to 40 minutes just creating stuff and then working on something else because it's so draining that he can't do that more than uh, that time. Yeah. Like he, I think he said especially about creating, but I think he had another I- ideas that he could work on on the day. Mm. Not that work. I think that's a good way to. Yeah. Like compartment your work. Just have like a creative. I, I don't know how to explain this. In creative time in which where yeah. you're just uh, thinking about ideas and sketching them, and yeah, yeah that yeah. you have a lot to choose from and work on. Yeah, I should show you guys my, I call it a crappy sketch idea, but some of them, they're quite brilliant. I don't know, I remember Hans telling me a story about Old Nedru. Uh, Because him and uh, together with someone else, they went to study at his workplace a long time ago. And he had scribbled this weird sketch on this piece of paper. And... At the point he lost it, I'm not sure what happened, and he was so desperate. He was like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Like, he was so desperate to find it, and people were like, what the hell is going on? And then when he found it, people were very curious why he was so desperate. And you couldn't understand anything on it. But for him, it had the essence of what he wanted to do. Because mm-hmm. I have to admit, when I hear people like, oh, just a sketch or just a doodle, I spent three hours on it. That's not a sketch anymore. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. not a sketch. Please stop confusing sketch with a drawing or whatever. A sketch is like a five minutes or ten or maybe at least 30 minutes fast doodle sketch. But if it goes beyond that, it's not anymore that. Hi, Brian. Servus. Hey, yo. I'm really liking this one. People will be like, oh my god, she's so cocky. How many times did she say that she likes her own work? <laughs> my dear son. No. It's so weird that we sometimes feel bad for admitting that we like our work. I don't. I'm actually happy when I finally admit that I like something because it kind of gives me some inspiration to do more work. Because I used to be like that. I used to put myself down for liking some of my work. Now I'm like, no, it's nice. It's not bad. It's really nice and it's making me happy. (sighs) You were saying... Why should we be ashamed of what we are doing? I don't know, we're so consumed by what we do that we... I sometimes think we just forget what it, means, what it means to just have fun. I don't know how many times my boyfriend has to remind me, it's fun, Till. You're having fun. I'm like, oh, what do you mean? It's just fun. I'm like, but it's not fun. I'm just stressed. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Relax, Till. Breathe. And you have to like breathe and so on because everybody just that's one reason i actually feel like i want to do this live stream not just stuff like yay life is happy look i'm dabbing on my painting i really want people to to somehow feel that they're not the only ones being stressed about their work i think all artists are just bloody conscious of what they're doing uh sometimes i'm a bit lucky i guess i write to like really famous painters am i still on yeah yeah okay because the the music stops i was like wondering and uh, i just asked them very honestly do you ever feel stressed about your work do you ever feel the pressure of about uh you know the market do you ever feel envy towards another artist and all of those questions and they're like dude i'm a human being as well of course i have emotions And I think the person actually asked this type of questions was Ian McCaig. 
I actually went to him and I asked him like do you sometimes feel pressure with all of these young people that are so much better somehow than we are and he's like of course I feel pressure but that's their own journey it's not mine I don't remember exactly the answer he gave me but he was so nice and so true to what I asked him and that was so nice to see that I'm not the only one that has these feelings of uncertainty yeah I think we all have in our own ways but not everyone everybody admits that yeah I admit it I uh, was talking with you a bunch of days ago oh what days was it yesterday no I don't remember uh, for example I used to be a very very envious person because uh, in my family somehow I don't know why we were prone more to it and I actually talked a lot about it with my shrink because I got to a point where I couldn't control it that I started hating myself mm. so it was a lot of therapy to get away from it but my therapist was like at least you're seeing it you're not subconscious of it anymore you're conscious of it and you don't want to feel this way it's normal to feel envious of course but uh, it's a matter of how you take it further hateful yes. resentful or you just feel like yeah i feel envious but damn i'm happy for him or for her mm -hmm. and yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the difference yes and it really helped me somehow i have less anxiety because we are all struggling and we don't see that everybody's trying their best to sell their work or find a good job or get that apartment or that girlfriend or boyfriend or be more happy yeah. in bed how we say it in Romania. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm um, trying to say is that we're all human. Let's not forget that, people. By the way, we have some questions. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, um, Jack asks, why are you painting the same... Uh, wait, are you painting the same girl from your new beginning painting? What? Say I'll again? Uh, repeat the question. Wait, are you painting the same girl from your A New Beginning painting? <laughs> I just love Asian girls. No, it's not her, but because I'm drawing a little bit from imagination, we, I'm not very good, I'm not like Kim Junji to be able to create different faces. I have the tendency of kind of going for the same look, which is good because people recognize my work like you just did. Is it the same girl from The New Beginning? Which is also bad, because if I get a commission to paint a, p a specific person, I might have issue doing it. I don't know. But right now, yeah, I think it's mostly her. It's like I have it in the back of my head, and sometimes I'm somehow I'm painting her again. Which I don't mind, because I think she's very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I want to uh, go back to the Kim jong part. But ah. before that, there's another question. Yes. Uh, what camera equipment are you using today, including headset? Headsets. Uh, Steel series. I don't know. My boyfriend gave it to me. Oh God damn it! I took them off and now I have to put them back. Ugh. Wait one second. Yeah, I've heard good things about Steel series. There you go. And for the camera. So this is what I did with my camera because I have a very good DSLR camera, I think you call it. It's Canon 80D. Uh, to be able to play via it, even though I found a YouTuber that said that if you implement your DSLR as an HDMI, OBS, the program I'm using to record what I'm doing, recognizes it as a webcam. Uh, right now, I'm using a program called SparkleCam, which was so freaking expensive. And it's very good. I can actually zoom in on the image, so I don't need to always zoom in with my with the physical um, how do you call it uh, zoom lenses, which makes it much much easier. Mm. I need to actually. Oh my God! There are ten people. What kind of lenses are you using? Your English is way better than I expected. Who is this Yog? Ah, okay, Jose Guzman. Oh, wait, I need to check an email. Sorry, one second. 
I'm very bad with names, but that sounds too too similar to someone I know well on the internet. internet. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> you really came on. That means that you just woke up, I guess. Sorry, what lens am I using? Uh, I think it's a 200 millimeters or how you pronounce it, and then, is that millimeters? So yeah. 18 to 200, five feet. It's really good, but this lens I have it since 2009. So it's pretty old, yet it's still very good. Oh, why, why did I get, what did I want it to do? Oh my god, I don't remember what I wanted to do. Ugh, whatever, I'm gonna go back to painting. I will remember afterwards. Uh, you said you want to check an email. I did. It was something else, but... Yeah. I just forgot. Okay, back to painting. Mm. By the way, I want to go back to that Kim Jong-gi part. Mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of people, if we we'll hear about what I'm about to say, will crucify me but oh my lord this is what it is then the, say it the thing about kim jong-gi and uh evan Amundsen, what i saw about those two and even claire welding they are a uh, pretty good draftsmen and drawers but but uh, say the it that they do some things over and over again to be easier for them and to recognize their style in, in which yes they are doing different faces or different people or different creatures but at the end of the day if you look closely it's the same type of line arm uh, body but just some things are exaggerated and doing in uh, are done in a different way Holy shit, I'm gonna burn you different. right now. I'm gonna so come to Romania and burn you like Vlad Zepesh, put you on a zapper and just let you no, there to I die. Think he's right. No, I'm just joking. I think you're right to a certain extent. I understand why they're doing this. It's If my boyfriend was here, he would explain it very well. It's nothing wrong with what they're doing. It is a marketing thing. I know someone yeah. that told me about a certain artist, Od Nedrum. It happened to him. He changed his style and what he was painting to floating figures was it and people didn't like it yeah and he had mm -hmm. to go back to something that he was doing before because the sales just dropped so sometimes uh it's funny what i'm gonna say but some artists they show what they're doing but they have a stack that they never show and i've seen it before and it's very amazing it's because mm -hmm. you know we're pressured by the marketing and, and by our followers uh, you know, they demand things because they support us and we have to give yeah. them what they want. Otherwise, you know, they lose interest. It's what it is. It's reality. And I think mm -hmm. that's one reason they're doing this. One thing I actually like the most is actually comic book artists. And I told you about those comic book artists. They really show a story and they need to always be different in, you know, the body uh, and stuff like that. And I know that Kim Junji also does comic books. I haven't seen yeah. much of it, but I have, I've seen some pages and I wasn't that impressed as I was mm. with uh, Jorge Safino with Winter Worlds, the, the style of it. I like that side more, or for example, Sergio Topi, it's something very different. Um, I understand what you're saying, but... Uh, I, I didn't say it like a bad thing. I no, I know I you're not saying it as a bad thing. A very healthy thing to do, in my opinion. Yeah, I think when I became a concept artist, one reason they actually took me as a concept artist and they told me is because I don't stick to one style, <laughs> which is bad as a fine artist. I have to stick to one style because that's what galleries want. They want people to recognize you. And I've been oh. going back and forth, painting different things, academic, abstract, blah, blah, blah. And I been just going in circles which is really bad if you want to be you know known mm. so that's one reason i like the fact that i'm getting commissions from this person who's a very nice person and very patient i'm getting enough to just have enough for the next month 
and then I just want to experiment and paint and do what I want. Yeah, I feel that in this in the street so easy to, especially in concept art, uh, so easy to um, lose your style or you lose your voice because you want to get something and it's easier to find a way to get those things. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, it was so much easier when I was a kid. I was just, I want to paint and draw this, I want to draw that and this. And then you go to the fridge, you open it up and it's like a miracle there's food in it. <laughs> yeah, those were the easiest times. But, yeah. Ah, uh, this brush is not very... Oh my god, Misha, your hair is everywhere, even in my brushes. Ugh. Talking about having a cat, you just get hair everywhere. I mean, uh, being with someone that's also a concept artist, a comic book artist, uh, illustrator, and uh, Hendrik is one of the most uh, talented people I know, yet the most horrible person when it comes to marketing. I mean, I saw his portfolio when he was 19 years old. I started crying. I was like, I can't believe what you can do. And the thing is that he can't really do everything he wants. He wants to be a comic book artist, but unfortunately, comic book artists don't get paid well enough. Yeah, and that's, that's the problem. Yeah, and we live in Sweden, so I told him, like, let's move to Romania. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> not anytime yeah, I soon. Think, I don't think that's a good idea now. Though. No. No. I mean, my parents will be like, yeah, you're moving back to Romania, but I can't take him. He's Swedish, his family is Swedish, and most Romanians don't speak English. So I'm not going to torture him with it. Because he's thinking sometimes like, oh, let's just move somewhere where it's cheap or so. I can get into comic books and just do that and yada, yada, yada. I mean, imagine an average salary in Sweden is around 2,200 euros. Uh, if you're a freelancer and let's say that someone pays you 1,000 euros, almost 40 to some people even pay 70% goes to the taxation office. And then that's about it. You're left with that sum. So it's not easy. I'm not going to go more into it because maybe the Swedish government will listen on me. She's not paying her taxes. Go get that stinky Romanian kicker out of Sweden. It's hard, but eh, whatever. Yeah, everyone, uh, every country has its drawbacks. Let's not get into politics. We said that we were not going to speak about politics. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or that that was important to have conversation or that agreement. Oh my god, Marianne. If you start speaking about politics, it's never going to stop. No, no, I'm not going to. Let's, let's not get into that subject. I really wish I have... I, have I a... think it's pointless talking about it. I have to bend to be able to... Uh, mix colors. This is really frustrating because I can't hold it because everything is wet so I can't put my hand down. The things I do for live stream! Ugh. My palette. I hope I'm not shaky. Yeah, I'm okay. So, in general, how do you guys get yourself motivated to work? Motivated for uh, art? Or yes, for art. Start working and motivation will come. So, what do you do when you get anxiety? Can you still work or do you stop? Because we were talking about that. Yeah, I think that the, the best idea is just keep working and it will pass. Mm. And I wish it was like that for me, but sometimes uh, it doesn't really work like that. Like, uh, even if I want to push it, sometimes I just can't. And uh, I'm starting panicking. Mm. But one thing that 
helped me lots with this was starting to do other things, especially a sport or some kind of movement. Yeah, that's that's very helpful. But sometimes you should just uh, do something else and see if you got with uh, some ideas and some energy to start drawing or painting or sculpting. Whatever you want to do. But if that doesn't work because I... I sometimes had that too, I didn't want to do so, I, I mean, wanted to do many things, but didn't have the energy or the, uh, how do you call it, the mo motivation. motivation. I, I had the motivation, but I didn't, I couldn't draw for some reason, it mm -hmm. was so bad yeah, when I started drawing or so scared i was so scared because i knew i couldn't do things but i think it just takes sometimes uh, pure willpower to oh. get past that like it's a lot of mental pressure like sometimes at the end of the day after i paint <laughs> sorry i am so so tired and i sometimes go on my email and i see that i have to answer email and my eyes are like i can't focus I, it's so hard. It puts a, uh, art does put a lot of like pressure on you mm -hmm. when you paint. It really, really does. Yeah. And it's so weird because I find other things to be much more uh, harder than art, but. Somehow art is draining you so hard sometimes. Yeah. And uh, all the energy and thoughts and uh, things you're putting in to do stuff, because you you kind you kind of need to have a relationship with what you or relation with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You you like stuff. You're doing stuff because you like it, or you have some other kind of motivation and you want to do it some somewhat good or somehow to make you feel good about what you're doing. <sighs> yeah. Well nothing is easy, right? Yeah, that's true. But I've got a theory or uh, some some kind of words that I keep saying to myself. I it's don't suck. I don't hard. suck. <laughs> hard. The, the thing that is hard and um, can drive people away from this, it's the time that you need to uh, understand those things. Because <sighs> sometimes it's much it takes you much more time to learn how to do the things than to learn how to um, uh, approach it, in a sense. You have no idea how right you are. You just reminded me of my school days. I remember painting the figure, stopping, leaving the room, going into my workstation where I was all alone and crying. Because the pressure of knowing what I need to go through and how much more I need to learn was just too much. Mm. I've always been too hard on myself. That's one reason I crashed and I burned out and I disappeared for a while. And that's not good either. So you need to find somehow uh, a balance. Otherwise, you're yeah. just going to lose your mind. And it's not easy. The thing is that we have the pressure of being creative every day. I don't think, I wonder sometimes how I can just shut down from thinking about art. And I actually have a painting that I want to do expressing that. And uh, I got that idea while I was talking with uh, Miles on uh, WhatsApp. And he sent mm -hmm. me this uh, work with this girl, uh, you know, she was covered in the snow. 
And that was like, I was like, I don't understand how you get this idea sometimes. I just want to put my head in the ground and never take it out. And then it just clicked for me. I was like, that's what I want to express. I want to show that frustration. So when I got home, I started sketching to find some ideas on how to approach that. And I have the sketch. It's a very weird doodle, but only I understand what's about. Mm. So I'm super excited to start doing that. And I want to paint it. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the eyebrows. So if I'm going back and forth, I'm really sorry. Mm. So yeah, it's uh, not easy being creative. And yeah. I think that's the problem with this industry as well, like mobiles and games and so on. You have to speed up everything. Like people, everybody's like, oh, Red Dead Redemption, so amazing. The people that work there, I think they're mentally brain dead right now. They they need like a long holiday and I hope to God that... Yeah, I've, uh, seen, I've seen a post about that, about how they were treated in the um, last month. Yeah. And uh, a bunch of them didn't even had the time to go home and just see their families. And uh, it was like 30 minutes uh, drive or walk. Wow. They just stand there and just uh, done their work because of the deadline. Um, so many of them uh, had the um, sleeping bags with them. And oh my lord, I didn't hear that. Jesus Christ. Yes, it was what? horrible. What company was that? Uh, ro uh, uh, Rockstar. Rockstar. Yeah. Oh, okay. I actually asked Hendrik, would he like to work for Rockstar? And he was like, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. It's, it is a bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing that yeah, I'm doing... I mean, um, so sorry for interrupting you. One thing I like doing when I paint I don't like going too dark too fast. So I start from like middle tones and then I go towards the brightest bright and then towards the darkest dark. So if it looks a little bit flat, it's because of that. Okay, you guys can continue. I don't know, I'm not checking the chat guys. So if you're writing to me, the guys needs to answer. So I'm just trying to focus here. Hello? Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. It got <laughs> quiet all of a sudden. I was like, what's happening? I wanted to say uh, something about the um, learning process mm -hmm. and uh, the thing about anatomy. Mm -hmm. I don't find the anatomy very hard. I mean, you, you can learn it and see it in just a few days, but it's much more harder to learn how to draw it and to apply perspective, clothes, uh, weight, uh, balance to it. I think in, at the point that, anatomy uh, becomes than just uh, masters of the bones in my opinion. I think anatomy becomes more like a feeling in the end because mm -hmm. you don't want to be a doctor you want to be a fine artist or a illustrator so yeah. I mean look at most games like World of Warcraft and most illustrations put that guy in a battlefield seriously now that doesn't work <laughs> Not at all. No. <laughs> so, yeah. You get my point. I don't need to explain more. Yep. It's more about design rather than uh, functionality. If you work for a company like uh, the way EA was with Battlefield, right now they're going a little bit overboard, but that's another thing. It's, it's really about functionality, which is very important. Mm Yeah. The thing about the games that are um, coming right now, or are on the um, the tops, let's say, I feel that they are having a too realistic approach, well, and the, the style isn't there anymore, like. Uh, a great thing about the games in the past, even, even though they didn't have the best technology or the best graphics, they have a certain style that helped them age. Or, yeah, um, we talked about that. Being um, appealing. 
you know, we talked about that yesterday, that sometimes realistically made games don't ten they tend to not age well, mm-hmm. like you said. So, hmm. And about uh, the a recent game, just a few years ago, and I think the, this year will uh, come the second part. I don't know if uh, it, it did already. The mm-hmm. Ori and the Blind Forest. Is it like about the Vikings? No, no, no. it's about uh, a, a creature with a wisp, and it's a magical forest and it's uh, such a beautiful game and it looks so good I don't know that is a game um, in which style is more pleasant and makes a big difference Uh, you will need to send it to me later on so I can check I know that Marianne was a lot into um, Marianne, what was the name yeah. of that? What was the name of that game that you played a lot in Simrishan? Dark Souls. Da, Dark Souls. Oh, oh my yeah. God! I actually yeah. made a painting. Nobody knows about it. I actually pay, uh, painted Capra Demon. I made this uh, illustration based on it. I sold yeah, I it. Think I, I think I saw that. One. Yeah, I, I don't have it anymore. But you posted it online, though. Yeah, yeah, but c- people don't even know that one exists. And the funny thing is that one reason I painted it is because that boss gave me the worst anxiety ever. <laughs> like, I remember I was, like, screaming. Ah, ah, like, die, die. And then I was laughing hysterically. I remember Miles and Frank were like, what the fuck? Because we were roommates. And they were like, what the hell is going on? And I was like, I'm killing him. I'm fucking killing him. <laughs> I was, like, so ecstatic. <laughs> It was so crazy. (laughs) Oh, those were the good days. Being roommates and playing games and procrastinating sometimes and crying. Seems like a good time. It was. It really was. You know, I'm applying uh, that uh, more of a brighter tone that you liked in the the dream, the digital ones I did. You know, the digital concepts uh, I did. Yeah. You were bringing those ones up, so I'm I'm trying to go for that style because I said to myself that I'm going to try once in my life to actually approach a style that I really like without feeling obsessed that I have to go academic with my work. And that's another thing that I wanted to bring up. Uh, the thing with the schools, you know, being trained in the academic, whatever, scene, sometimes it has this ability of really killing your approach of how you want to do art. It's just insane. Because I, ha- I had hard times bringing it back. So... Now I'm actually feeling that I'm painting the way I want to paint. Which is great. I don't know. I will change. I know how I am. I will never stick to one style. I'm retarded. But wait. It's weird because I I felt the same without going to an academic school. Mm. Um. Just in this uh, case, because I was so scared to do something from my mind, and I'm still are and very anxious about it. Mm. But I'm starting to get a little more creative because I know I need to. But I had this teacher uh, who helped me a lot, like very, very much. I don't think if I have not met him that I would uh, come this far. But he always said to me that I have to do the things right and the drawings has, has to be very good. And because of that, I got scared. When I when I didn't do when I had so many mistakes in my drawings that I didn't want to uh, learn how to render or learn how to do things because I knew that my drawings are not good so it's it's not worth it to do something on a bad drawing. Yeah, the the thing is that I um, I noticed I'm actually happy that I haven't been painting lately. It's because I've been drawing so much 
<laughs> my drawing skills just went sky high. Like, I'm amazed how easy it has, well, uh, easy. It, it came with a lot of suffering, believe me. But I'm having such easy times painting this portrait right now. I was feeling like, oh my god, I'm so gonna fail. And I'm like, huh, I'm actually enjoying this. I'm actually not failing with the proportions. I'm adding that line, bam, exactly mm -hmm. where I need to put it in one go. Well, I don't know, I'm going back and forth a bit because it's a little bit imaginative as well. But it feels so damn good. Because the more you develop yourself, the more it becomes, uh, well, easy, not easy, but you reach a level. And for someone that, let's say, starts drawing, they will see that level as whatever, godlike. But for me as an artist, I'm like, okay, now I have to push this even more, even more, even more, so I can improve even more, even more. And it gets easier. So basically what I'm trying to say, the shittiest drawing you do in the eyes of a beginner is really good. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. Yeah, because that's what I've noticed. And I was telling this to, um, to my boyfriend and he was like, you think this is good, but this is the worst I can do a drawing of. And I'm like, what do you mean? This is great. He's like, no, this is the worst that I can do. So I was like, okay, this is interesting. Hmm. That's something we kind of don't see, but uh, at the point the artist kind of accepts it. They know that that's shit. But for some beginners, again, that's really nice. Yeah, uh, it's. I've been thinking a lot about that, about what you think it and what everyone says, because uh, it's again about how much pressure we put on ourselves, mm -hmm. because we know what we want to achieve, and if you achieve, let's say, sixty percent what we wanted and the result is still good but in our mind it's kind of shit <laughs> but everyone will everyone sees the project but doesn't see what you had in your mind so they doesn't have that expectation ah okay I see what you mean and because of that they can enjoy it more because of uh, they are, they are just enjoying what you've done and don't know the struggles that you encounter. The struggles. Oh my god. Yeah. A lot because of people... At, at the end of the day, uh, the pressure we are putting on ourselves is still a struggle. Whoa. Last call for Wait, whoa. One second. Hello? Yeah? No, I'm so sorry, I don't. Ah, uh, that's my neighbor. Yeah. Why why are you looking for him? Is He has a car? Well, that's something new. Uh you want me to call him? Uh 08. I I think I have his um um how do you call it? A mobile. He Okay, I hope you're not some kind of weird stalker if I give you that number. <laughs> okay. Uh, just one second, I, I hope I have it. So if he doesn't move, I have to move his vehicle for him. Like, call everyone that I can. <laughs> yeah, um, I hope I still have it on this mobile because I just changed my uh, my mobile. Uh, pff, I don't think I have it. No, that's weird. I know that I used to have it. I'm gonna go and knock at his door uh, and tell yeah. him about his car. I hope he's home and he can answer. Yeah, yeah, okay. But Do you want me to wait or? Uh, sorry, one, one second. Are you in Vasastan? Oh. 
Are you in Vasastan, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has okay. part on uh, Torbjörn Klosterskatan. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so, so, he, 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 let me see. Just to... one second. I think I know how to give you the number. You just have to yeah. bear with me a bit. I have yeah, it on... You guys are living on Torsgatan. Yes, yes. If you wait like uh, 20 seconds, because I'm switching on my other mobile, I can give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Better if we can reach him so he can move his vehicle by himself. Yeah, I, he has already got two tickets from my colleagues, and
Welcome back. Welcome back. So sorry, guys. I just got a phone call and I had to help my neighbor. Otherwise, he would have gotten so much big of a fine. It's weird that they called me. So I kind of saved him maybe more than 100 euros fine. Holy. Yeah, they would have picked up his car. It's really... Like, I'm red in the cheeks because I just got so stressed out of it. I just left you guys and like, hey, bye, I'm on a stream. But, you know, real life calls me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's nice that they called him before they took over his car. Yeah, in Romania, they will be like, squatter pasta de aici, del dracula o parte. Actually, they don't do that anymore. It became illegal. Really? Yeah, not in Cluj Napoca, let me tell you that. <laughs> At least in Bucharest. And I think they should do it in Bucharest. I think they will start in Bucharest as well because I know that they kind of people are starting to get really tired of not having sidewalks to walk on. Yeah. So that that uh, should change definitely. Uh, did people leave off the stream just because I left? I don't know. I don't know. We have not. Uh, we have not made the best uh, atmosphere. No, I'm so sorry, guys. I. I think we did pretty good. I mean, when I was streaming alone, it wasn't this exciting. I just had to go and help my neighbor. So I don't think it's a bad thing right now. Oh well, we can't please everyone. I can tell you that. Yeah. So yeah, what were you guys talking about? Where was where were we left at? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna stop this one as a, 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 a la prima. I might actually go back into it again. Uh, we'll I see. Was just uh, rendering my gorilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is getting hard. I need to like sit down or take the mole stick if I want to be able to do this properly. <sighs> I'll use a different brush. Let's see. What if I have brushes? Where are my tiny brushes? By the way, do you have any parking spaces there? or? Uh, my neighbor, apparently. I didn't even know that Pio has a car. It's the first time I actually heard about him having a car. Okay. Every day we learn new things. Yeah. No, but in Sweden, uh, rules here are extremely, extremely strict. Yeah? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on the eye because I'm gonna try to render that eye out so people can see if whoever is on the stream or... Yeah, I think everywhere else is not different than Romania in Europe. Mm. <laughs> what happened to Teodora? Oh, sorry. So sorry. Teodora disappeared. Okay, let's it zoom. It's like a magic. Oops. Gonna zoom in on that eye, and now I need to fix the. The values, oh my god, the values are horrible, what the hell? Ugh. Okay, I have to add more ISO to the image. Okay, 32, 80. There you go, that's a little bit better. Ugh, that was horrible. Okay, let's try and render this eye. I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna look like. <laughs> But I do have an idea. Let's see. I have a lot of Asian girls here on my screen, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, 
I hope people won't find me perverted. I think I'm lucky because I'm a woman. People won't uh, react on that. Imagine if I was a guy. I have a lot of Asian girls on my screen over here. <laughs> I still wish for that. Oh, careful, careful. The stream is live. They might hear you. I ha um, had this one time an opportunity to draw a uh, Japanese Japanese boy yeah or man actually but um, the day I planned to draw him he was so sick that he couldn't get out of his bed oh my god poor guy yeah and and from that moment I still want to draw at, at least uh, one from Asia uh, I had a chance with the school, and Sweden is quite, uh, how do you say it in English, uh, international. So we did have some chances to draw some very beautiful Asian people. Yeah, I don't know my experience. Uh, do you remember Dan Dan? Mm, no. Yeah, she was a model in my first year there. I think if I see her, I'll recognize her, but... She was Thai, wasn't she? What? Was she Thai? I think so. Mm, I don't remember. I just find Asian people so pretty. They, Women don't age. <laughs> yeah, same. The menopause yeah, comes. They're, they're so fascinating. Yeah. I'm so jealous of their skin. <laughs> so smooth. Okay, I'm holding my palette in a very weird way just to be able to use the stick. I hope the image looks good. I actually can't believe I'm managing to paint this live. I thought it would be such a failing painting. <laughs> I think if uh, some animal expert will see my drawings, he would uh, beat himself so hard or beat myself so But Let me be the judge of that. Just but send I'm it having to me. fun, all right? I'm having fun. S send it to Mama Teo. Let Mama Teo take a look. You're having fun, but you're not supposed to have fun. You're supposed to suffer and cry miserably. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Oh, no. B bring the garlic. Oh, shit. What's happening? Yeah. You're doing it all, all wrong. You're supposed to suffer for your art, not have fun with it. Yes. Fun is overrated. There's no time. Where's my cat? Oh, she's behind me. Oh, I really like the way I painted the eye. Eee. Okay. You know, you're having fun. You know, it, the thing with eyes, you did one eye correctly. Let's see how I'm going to do the, la the, the other one. <laughs> it's always with the other one. I, I saw so many memes regarding that one. Painting one eye, and then you try to do the other one. But I can't wait to paint the bird. I'm so excited to paint the bird. Uh, okay, what else do I want to do with that? I want to add... One thing I like about titanium white, it's such a thick uh, color. Well, non-color. Because I want to play a little bit with... Like, strokes like this. It's so much fun. Kind of gives it a little bit of volume. Yeah. I really wish that everybody could be able to paint. I think people would have so much fun 
doing this. The paint? Yeah. I think so. It's it's so pleasurable just to see colors oh. doing their work. Oh. That thing. Who? Uh, it's um, so good to see the colors doing the their thing. Yeah. It's gonna be fun to paint the nose as well. I actually want to add in this white a little bit of. Yo, yeah, some asking, are you able to show what's on your palette? Yes, I will do it now since that. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm trying not to move because I have. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, recap the palette, guys. So basically, so far the colors I've been using, uh, it's quite warm. Uh, I've always had this. Uh, desire of painting with warm colors uh, before i started the uh, school i was actually a colorist well <laughs> consider myself a colorist whatever let's put them here so the main colors i used let's see didn't use yellow ochre at all not yet there's a part where i'm gonna have like a sun somewhere I uh, didn't use this fake yellow, I forgot the name of it, I have to check the brand. I've used ultramarine blue and I've mixed it a lot with alizarin crimson and this red over here which I have to check the name of. Uh, this is a specific red that Odenedrum uses uh, since uh, I don't want to use cadmium red because it's very toxic. Is that Chinese vermilion? Rouge Vermilion, the Chinese, yes. Mm -hmm. And the yellow I'm using is... Oh god, this is uh, Dutch. Zwenjinjen Yellow Light. Jaun de Zwenjinjen Clair. I don't know how to pronounce that shit, but uh, I remember that I really liked it. Sorry for my language. Uh, this is transparent... This one here, transparent red oxide. What I liked about this color is that it's not too pinkish, it's more towards the earth colors. So it's a little bit, let's say, more towards the actual human color. So I've used that, what, uh, that one a lot in the nose and in the cheeks. Um, on the screen I'm seeing right now that it's like really sharpened. Uh, the canvas is not that sharp, but anyways, use it a lot around the eye here. Uh, I'm actually gonna use it in the hair. It's, it's one color that I use in mostly old painting, transparent red oxide, brilliant, brilliant color. Black, didn't even touch it. I didn't think when I added it, I have to uh, make sure that I put it in the freezer and I will tell you guys why I put it in the freezer. Uh, one reason I didn't use black is because I mixed ultramarine blue with alizarin crimson and I got the very rich dark black and for what I'm painting right now, that is a must. If I would have used black, it would have become very muddy and gray. And then I have raw umber, which I've used. It's, it's a bit warmer gray, which can be very good to use around the mouth, because uh, those areas tends to be more desaturated. They don't have that many pinks in it. And then ivory black, uh, Jesus, uh, titanium white, which is a color, every, well, known color that everybody uses. And then this one that I barely touched, which is uh, red umber. I don't even know why I put it on. I think I will use it for something. So that's about it with the colors. Uh, what was I supposed to say? I mean, this painting is very different than what I usually paint. Like I said, I try to always do it very academic, but right now I just want to have fun. I don't want to go into that process. I was supposed to show you guys something, but I forgot. So I talked about the colors. Marianne, do you guys remember what I was supposed to do? Oh, uh, no. No. Oh, God. No wonder I have the worst memory ever. Uh, you were supposed to show us your back. 
you did. Okay, that's about it. It was nothing to do with the colors, like brands and stuff, right? No. Okay, cool. Okay, let's try and... I'm actually gonna leave this eye as it is. I think the face will feel uh, better. I, I mean, on the screen I can see it's quite dark, the tone here. But on my canvas it's quite bright because all of this will be quite dark. And I'm gonna have like some uh, bright red tones that's gonna define her shoulders. So let's zoom out a little bit, sharpen it onto that eye over there. I'm so sorry for not being able to make this directly. It's a bit skewed right now, but it's what it is. So let's try and paint the other eye and hopefully it's gonna look okay. This is one of the things that blown, blows me away about the colors. Mm. The way that um, they interact and the way you see them, if you have um, certain colors uh, near it. Like, for example, if you have um, a grayish yellow and uh, blue near it, that yellow will be more, more greenish mm. in your eyes. I mean, what I really like about oils is how beautifully they blend with each other. Yes. I love that. And how um, clean it looks. Yeah, I think one reason I couldn't work with uh, acrylics is because of that. It's because there was, they were drawing out too fast and I hated that. Because you need to have like this thing to keep spraying the drawing and... I'm too stupid to be able to do something like that. So I just prefer painting with oils because it's not much for me to memorize with all the tools and stuff. So. It's just harder to clean, I feel. Oh yes, I mean, I've spent so much money on my brushes and I'm very lucky I have this amazing friend. When I was a student and I became a teacher I was critiquing her, I was helping her with her art and stuff. <laughs> and I remember that she looked at my brushes and she was like, you're so good and you're working with this crappy brushes and I have better brushes than you, this is no, no. So she actually bought me brushes, like the best ones. And I was like, you don't need to do it. I I'm completely no. fine with the brushes I have. And she's like, no, you need to have the brushes. And I still have those that she bought for me and I'm still using them. So, yeah, it's uh, Tina Marianne. That's the woman I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she is, uh, she's, yeah, she's a really nice person. She's a wonderful person. Wonderful person. Uh, that's the question. Did you use gesso before painting? Use what? Gesso. No, I uh, guess so. Is that like yeah. the... Yeah. yeah, the primer. Oh, it's already primed. Primer the, the, canvas. the canvas, it's yeah. already... It's. I'm not painting on anything expensive because I thought that this will actually be a big, big, big failure. But like always, it turns out to be not. Well, so far, you never know. I might go crazy and throw this one out the window. So you never yeah. know. Uh, make it a performance art. Yes. <laughs> Behold the flying painting. Just throw that shit out the window. Yeah. And someone will find it and you will make a fortune out of it. Yeah, but first they need to kill me so they can actually make a, a income out of it. You know, a dead artist is more uh, uh, worthy than a, than a live one. Uh, I think it's more marketable than valuable. Yeah, a dead woman was found next to her painting, and the painting represents the feminine yeah, side of all women that paints. I think it's because it's so, uh, like, the artist is alive, he can make more paintings, but when he's dead, it, uh, you have a certain number of paintings. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one aspect of it, but also, like, you can build, uh, I don't know, layers of stories around him. No, oh, yeah, mysteries and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make him whatever you want him to be. Yeah, like Leonardo da Vinci having a weird, uh, what do you say it in English? Secrets in his painting, you know, the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, what a shitty yeah, movie. Yeah. I laugh when I watch that movie. 
I'm like, Jesus Christ! The amount of... I don't want to say bad words anymore on my live stream because people are going to get so tired yeah. of me. That's a real painter, you. Yes. I need to be like Leonardo da Vinci. Mm, must yeah. paint this secret in my painting. I'll paint like a big vagina and that represents the whole world. People will never know. I'm so lucky for being a woman because I can say so many bad stuff and nobody will get angry with me. <laughs> oh, I'm such an asshole. I love it. No, I, I, I think I'm going to eat something because I'm so hungry. Oh, uh, what can I say? I'm standing here, not even moving my legs, so my, ca so my uh, how do you call it, palate won't fall on the floor. You're not suffering enough. Okay, yeah. fine, I'll stay more then. <laughs> you can bring your food and eat with us. Don't, don't leave me. I mean, I might be very, very confident, but one reason I'm confident is because I have you guys here. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to see then if I, if I can get something. Yeah. Like uh, bread with some cheese. Mm, that that's delicious. That's yeah. what you should have. Just go and get it and come back. Yeah. We'll be right back. Oh my God, I might sound like an idiot right now, but it's. I still am very conscious that I know people are watching me. Ah. <sighs> What are you working on, Marian? Is it that work you showed me last time with a girl, or is it um, the no, cave? No, no, something else. Mm. I mean, I'm working on three, three things at mm. the same time. Kind of like moving from one to the other. How can so you do I, that? Yeah, it's more like I don't get bored if I do this than if I work on one piece at a time. I would not I, be able to do it. You used to do it when you were back at the school. Used to, but now I don't. I just don't like it. I prefer focusing on one work, which is bad to be honest. I kind of wish I can go back to it, because now that I, I have. I don't think it's bad. I, I don't think it's bad. I, I just I can't. I I don't think I can do that. Mm -hmm. Right, a couple of times, but just focus. I mean, I cannot stay more than I don't know four or five hours on one thing. Mm. And then it kind of like it, it kind of like ruins my motivation on continuing on that. Jeez, I don't know. I can't do it. But you know, the stuff that I've been working lately, it's kind of like uh, really demanding mm. and making a lot of changes on on compositions and. Mm. I really like that one that you're doing of the Romanian king, the dead one. Uh -huh. That's really, really cool. I know that uh, uh, Liviu Sandu, he was thinking if I can do something like that. Yeah, that would be nice. But I, I mean, I use it as a study for uh, composition. I'm gonna include him in... Oh, so it's more like a composition thing. Okay. No, it's a study. It's like a preparatory study. I'm trying to do as many studies for, you know, what my composition I can. Mm. I can hear my cat in the back moving around, and I can't really look. To Meow. See. Can't really look to Meow. see what she's doing. Meow. Oh no, she's chewing on that. Ah, oh, you silly little cat. I have to stop and take that thing away. One Meow. second. So sorry guys, this is the worst stream ever, I think. Misha, you little shit, you're not supposed to chew on that. Stop squeaking. There. Okay, back to work. Be good, I already took you out. I'm gonna take you out later Why? on. Why do you think this is the worst stream ever? Well, because I'm moving a lot. But, I mean, it can be uh, friendly streaming. I mean, people don't yeah, need to watch. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I can't do things like Joe Rogan. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think those require more, I don't know, openness in, I don't know. Oh, I think I'm very open right now. Yeah, you are, but I... <laughs> but? I don't know. I'm, I'm not... Can you check uh, the chat and uh, see if someone else wrote something? Yeah, someone is asking what time is it by you? Jeez, uh, one one. It's it's almost four twenty. It's almost four twenty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go to like six. The next giant is saying that he's thinking about entering the national art competition in my country. Which one? You should go for it, man. Which one? It's a national competition. Oh, yeah, go for it. Uh, one thing that I don't like usually with this kind of contest is that it costs money. And sometimes I'm like looking a little bit to see what art it is around there because I don't want to just give yeah, them money if they don't like, like the lottery. You buy a ticket and then yeah, uh, a ticket will pay for the price. Yeah, I really don't like that, to be honest. And also, you really know, because they're not, they don't have specific criteria, so it's kind of like back. Welcome back. hard to mm. evaluate. It's, I don't know. Competitions, I don't know, uh, between artists are kind of like, Stupid. Yeah, I don't like doing this because it's really stupid in a way to like really criticize most. Okay, you can do it when it comes to like teaching someone academic drawing. Sure, you can uh, kind of give a bit of an example. But for example, uh, what I'm doing right now, I think some of my uh, hardcore academic people might actually think like this is the worst thing I've ever done. And, no, I don't. and it might be like, oh, this is so not into the standards of, you know, painting realistic. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But you understand what I mean? Like for the American Portrait Society, this might actually be the worst painting ever. No, I don't think so. I've actually seen a couple of, you know, like more creatives in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see, because I'm gonna actually paint. Let's see, the eyes looks pretty okay-ish for now. Because I want to get into the nose, into the mouth, and then into the hair, and I want to paint the bird. I want to paint the birdie. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Uh, 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 uh. I really hope I'm not annoying people with my uh, singing sometimes. Or stupid jokes. No, actually, I think we need more of those. More stupid jokes? Why did a chicken cross yeah. the road? Too late, Nick! Ah, so funny! No. Daniel Kane asked, what makes a good portrait? What makes a good portrait? Yep. Something you like? I mean, of course, it depends what level you want to achieve, uh, you know, like the quality of the portrait you want to paint. So if you want to do something like Ilya Repin, there's a lot of academic training behind that. So you will have to go back to the basic and learn how to uh, build up the proportions of the human face correctly without exaggerating. Because, for example, the portrait I'm doing is quite fantasy it's not super realistic so that's what I mean yeah, 
and I don't know, like uh, I think that that can go more. To, I mean, what kind of portrait? I think uh, it's important to ask what kind of portrait mm. are we about. Or, or for what field? Because uh, if you want to go to animation or um, comic, then you gotta work on expression too, and the way to emp emphasize the feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the story needs for you, uh, or or for your uh, character, for your port portrait that you're doing, because then you're uh, you're not really doing something um, so realist, more of an abstractization or stylization about uh, how we perceive some something. Hmm. In the uh, expression and uh, in visual language in general. I think Are I... you asking what makes a good portrait? No, uh, he asks Picasso or de Kooning. Like, are you asking what uh, what makes a good portrait for them wow. or? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm waiting for some settings. Oh, okay. It takes uh, time because uh, we have a little bit of lag when we go live. Just so you guys know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm asking how important realism is to picture. Uh, I'm so happy that I have you guys on the stream. <laughs> Makes it easier for me to just paint and listen. Thank you. I don't know, I think it's quite important to be able to... I think it's the easiest starting point to try and learn something realistic and then change it if you really want because at the Picasso for example as you said uh -oh. uh, he he was an extraordinary uh -oh. craftsman and uh -oh. painter uh -oh. sorry uh, continue sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Maria knows why I'm doing this sorry yeah. oh it's uh, because of what I said no no yeah, I think regarding artists in particular there's a lot of Pipe going around. Um, I don't know. I think they were marketed very well, and I think they were. From but uh, what you were saying, I'm so sorry. Really good, because so it, to for something to be good, objectively, you know, if anyone can evaluate it. You need to have some objective standards, and I don't think those qualify to any objective standards. So I wouldn't be able to say what makes those pieces of art good. Because I don't think they have any... I, I, I don't think you have an objective standard. I don't know. I understand what you mean. No, I'm so sorry for interrupting you, but uh, what you were saying is actually very correct. If you want to like, what he's the, if you want to like make a portrait, uh, you have to learn how to make it realistically at start, and then gently you start changing it. So you're very right when it comes to that. And one reason I was saying oh 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 is just because something me and Marianne talked about. But it's kind of stupid to bring this one up on on a stream when you have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, we will tell you what's about. It's just funny. Yeah. Mm. But for example, do you feel like you can paint a portrait very realistically? In your case. If I can paint? 
Well, let's say draw. Do you feel do you feel like you can actually do that? Uh draw portrait or Yeah, no, drawing. Ah yeah. Huh. I've done a lot of them uh for the past year. Mm hmm Both painting and drawing. I can say they are perfect but I will, right. I would love to see them, you know, to just take a look. <laughs> I'll give you some uh, photos after. Uh oh, and I'll be like, this, this is bad. You should just stop, just stop doing it. Let the pros do it. No, I'm just joking. I told you when we started the live stream, I have extremely bad joke uh, jokes, and I hope the people that are on the stream. Won't go like, fuck this shit, I'm not gonna listen to this person anymore, which is fine, I completely understand. But uh, I'll try to be more professional. Somehow. We have another question. Oh god. Eh? <laughs> when are you going to do another black and white pencil drawing, Miss Caput? Miss Caput? Who the hell is this person? Do I, what's his name? Uh, it's uh, Jag on the... YouTube, but it's the person you checked on the um, mail. Uh, everybody asks me what I'm gonna paint, and now someone is asking me what I'm gonna draw. Make up your mind, internet. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I as soon as possible because I really love pencil. When are you gonna do a chalk and charcoal drawing again? <laughs> soon, very soon. Yeah, I think that would be really nice. Yeah, charcoal is really challenging. Uh, I've uh, since I started going back into pencil, I just realized how hard charcoal is actually. Yeah, um, but it's also fun. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can do the same thing with pens. No, I do yeah. want to experiment for sure. Like, um, do what the Russians were doing. I want to try and do with water. I think. Uh, they were using water to like uh, paint sometimes with the charcoal mm -hmm. and I think that's really fun and I also want to implement the uh, watercolors in it and see how that's gonna look like I think that can be really really fun uh, to try actually I'm gonna hold on for seconds I'll be right back I like how everybody's taking a break. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, I just finished eating. Yeah, I think my back is gonna kill me after this. I'm already starting to have pains. Okay, let's paint the mouth a bit. Hmm. I remember Richard Schmidt saying it to his. Um, when I was watching Captain's Portrait, what's the secret about lips? And it was like soft edges. I'm gonna not obey that rule and go a bit sharp. This is very weird, but I'm painting with oils as if I would draw. I've never experienced this before. I've done so many drawings. Yes, I still did a lot of drawings. And it feels like I'm actually painting right now. Oh, painting, drawing, sorry. Yeah. Mm, I think it's uh, the feeling that you get like you as you said you done so many yeah i wonder if it's that because that's how i feel right now it's the first time feeling that yeah pretty much actually mm. it's a very interesting feeling i never thought that i will feel this way i'm really enjoying it i mean i know i'm painting with colors and it's really fun but some Somehow I'm looking at it as it's a drawing rather than a painting. And I remember talking to my students about this when they were asking me like, oh, 
oil is so hard, how should I work with it? And I remember I was telling them, like, see it as it is a drawing. But personally, I was so obs obsessed over the technique that sometimes I got stuck and um, mm. forgot that it's all about drawing, because it is all about drawing, even when you paint. Sure, like I said, it's technique and color, but it's the same uh, concept, I think. Same and I know like, it. Uh, very nice way of thinking about uh, color. And he thinks that the, mo the most important thing about color is value. Mm -hmm. And then is color. Yeah. And uh, it ties back again to the drawing part because we usually, when we are drawing, we are using just value. Well, I think it's also the pens because, for example, if you're doing paintings like what Ilya Repin was doing, it is, or um, uh, Car Caravaggio. Caravaggio is a very good example of value painter mm -hmm. uh, in comparison to Soroya. Soroya is more of a colorist. So you still need to know like color theory if you want to just color it. Yeah. So it has to be a balance in between. It's always about balance. That reminds me of Avatar. <laughs> I'm I'm the Avatar. I control all mediums. Drawing, painting, 3D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was adorable. Oh, we need to make... Uh, dude, when I start my uh, my stream, I need to have like an intro. Painting, drawing, digital, 3D. <laughs> All of that. Like, uh... Lord, um, and how should we I make it? I know that in Avatar, the Fire Nation was the best one. So you, you could do... Drawing, painting, sculpting, and then the digital came. <laughs> <laughs> and then the digital art came. And everything was lost. Everybody was an artist all of a sudden. <laughs> Nobody needed fine art anymore. Ah! This is you horrible! You just pressed the button yeah. and you had the illustration. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say about that. I think there are more today than uh, have ever been. So I, I don't think it had that effect fine art well we're joking here duh do you know how to take a joke no oh, okay okay oh. yeah he's always very serial he's dangerous he doesn't understand it once he actually beat up someone in simri Islam just because he made a joke and he took it too seriously no just i'm, I'm joking he never did that <laughs> <laughs> you've never done that don't worry about it at least from what you know. Oh, uh, well, we do have some stories. At the point we were at the school during the night time, just working, and we hear these people like fiddling around the door. And I think Marianne yeah. went, did you went out and started hitting them with, what the hell were yeah, you hitting yeah, them they, with? They were, they were trying to break into the school. That was so hilarious. And you can imagine this crazy Romanian like feel you know, I just look good to and you yeah, go like holy shit. They were there were three of them and I didn't really know how to act. You were like fine I can beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest thing to do or the first thing that comes to mind. Maybe that was uh, I don't know the yeah. The, I think it's more fun because I know the situation and just thinking about it, I just want to yeah. laugh so hard because I can just imagine Marianne feeling so happy that you can beat someone up. <laughs> Come here, let me beat you. <laughs> 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 and they're like, no, please don't do it. And you have like this big guy with this big beard just smacking them to hell. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the memories. Good times, good times. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One weird thing that it happened when I was in middle school, I think it was in the eighth grade, uh, was that I was going to school, you know, just a normal day, like what could happen? Uh, it's just Romania. To... Sorry? It's just Romania, what could happen? Yeah, 
uh, and on my way to school, <clears throat> I've seen a dog, and that dog saw me, and I just passed, uh, I just go past him, but he started following me, and everyone thought it was my dog, because he, fa he just stand near my legs and just came Aww. at the same uh, range and uh, movement with me. <laughs> and after that I passed uh, by a high school and then I went to the school I was and I got through the um, doors to get into the um, uh, main uh, how do you say gate I yeah main gate I passed it and the dog passed it too and I was like yo dog you, you can stay there I I don't know you you don't know me, so just stay there. But no, he followed me. Of uh, course he did. Till I was in my classroom, and then some girls saw it and thought he was cute, so they played with him. Aha! You know how to get the ladies! Yeah. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. That's, that's a good strategy. That's a good strategy. Yeah, this is my doggy. Oh my god, you're so cute, and you love animals. Nah, I totally are they into just, you. They just uh, took the dog and I and they left me. Wow, typical women. <laughs> they take everything wonderful from men and then they just leave. <laughs> That's a very heartbreaking story. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get into it a little bit more. I actually really like. It feels like she's a geisha. So guys, just be warned, I haven't painted in pretty much in not months, I don't even remember. The last time I painted was a cat, and that's about it. If you guys hear something, it's my stomach growling, but I will eat afterwards. Yeah, that's, that's the best I can get right now. Okay. Uh, right now, the way the light falls onto it, it just gives it this annoying little glow. I think I'm going to soften it a little bit, so I'm going to take my soft brush and see if I can, if I need to soften it a little bit, because I kind of like the roughness. I have a question for you. Hmm? Uh, do you use many brushes while you paint? Oh yeah, I've been using one, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Whoa. I think you 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 want to have as many as you can. Yeah. Because it makes it easier. Like you can pretty much have I don't know different values and different brushes. Just don't like not be worried about cleaning your brush all the time. I'm I'm such a noob that I use like two brushes. Well, I had that tendency before. I was always using one brush. Uh, but now I kind of like having more than just one brush. Yeah, but there's a difference between us. You know what you're doing and I don't. Of course. I mean, I'm so unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, but it also makes like having one brush a lot slower. Because you have to clean it between... Not if you're a, uh, an expert cleaning like I am, and you know that I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, but it, you used to clean it all the time, too. Yeah. And, or, or maybe you just don't care and don't clean it ever. I'm actually amazed when I see students having like, oh, this is my white brush, this is my black brush, and this is the for this color. It never lasts for me. Never. I always go like, oops, there goes my white brush. So it never works for me. Okay, let's get into the hair a little bit and go darker around the body. The, the only brushes I uh, care so much about are the ones that I'm using for inking and watercolor. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I have different brushes. Uh, like. For ink I use some and for watercolor I use uh, another one. So they are like the same thing, but I just don't want to mess them up because ink, are, ink ruins your uh, brushes. That's all. 
Really? How come ink does that? Is it some weird chemical in it? Uh, yes, it sticks more uh, into the brush. Oh, I, I the didn't know that. And the uh, uh, water, watercolor ones. I had no idea about that. That's really yeah, interesting. Ne neither, neither me, but it seems like it uh, damaged them in time. Hmm. So does it then stiff or what does it do to them? Yeah, make, makes them stiffer and uh, then they don't get as much water as I would want. Jack is asking if you have any online drawing painting classes for people who want to do art. Uh, maybe one day I will figure it out. I'm not sure how to do it. I mean, I would love to teach again, but it's so hard because art is such a visual language. It's not enough to just talk about it. That's the thing. So I was thinking about doing it, but I'm not sure how to do it. That's my, my issue. I have really no idea how to do it. Hmm. It's also difficult because uh I don't know, as a student you need feedback, so it's kind of like difficult to make something online. Yeah, I was thinking of using the medium digital because what I want to teach people is how to see forms in shape, like the drawing, that's the thing, the basic thing, the drawing. And I think that the easiest medium to do it with is digital, like for example, yeah, I can say go and do a bark. And with a bark, you need to have someone that's clearly more, uh, has sharper eyes than you do, so they can actually do help you with something. And yeah. I, I think digital can be quite good. Like, let's say that someone wants to work with me. I would need at least four hours of their time so we can go, uh, you know, get on digital medium. And maybe some of you guys don't even know how to work with the digital medium. You, maybe you don't even have a tablet. So the mm -hmm. best way, hopefully you have a good camera. So you do the drawing, you take a very good photo, you know, like really uh, horizontal, horizontally, so you don't skew the drawing. So I can actually mm -hmm. look and I can take the original in Photoshop and then you're drawing and show you like, do you see this distance here? Uh, do you see this proportion here relationship to this? I can also explain uh, why is it important to understand angles and how to uh, simplify a certain line to find more angles to actually do the correct uh, gesture of a line so there's a lot of things that you can actually teach someone because this was the key for me in learning how to become fast and see things seeing it more as um, abstract uh, see it more in an abstract way rather than just oh it's a face i'm supposed to draw a face mm -hmm. everything is abstract if you just simplify it to a very low level so that's i think it's the key to just relax and see it as a process of learning and just do it even if the portrait fails you it's always something you learn from it wow i never thought that i would actually say this stuff again it was a long time ago I talked about this stuff. Yeah. And something that I learned uh, last year and that was very important to me is not to attach so much to your draw drawings. Yeah, kill your babies or kill your drawings. Oh, your darlings, sorry. Like, don't be afraid to do more and uh, accept your mistakes. Oh, yeah, I think the biggest issue was with my students is accepting that it's wrong, you have to fix it. And it was so hard, even though I told them, like, you're supposed to fix this because it doesn't work in relationship to this. So I was even proving it to them. It doesn't work in relationship to this, to this, to this, and to that. And when I came, when I was... Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing that I learned at the uh, back at the academy. Yeah, I mean that's one reason I think this type of schools are really good. Sure, they cost a lot of money, but 
they really do teach you how to see and in my case the big mistake with me as being a teacher I was too young to actually be one but now I'm uh, oh my god I can't believe I'm gonna be 29 years old soon so I, I, I gather a little bit of knowledge sure I can be kind of stupid when I make bad jokes but when it comes to actually doing my job it's about my job I don't fool around because I used to be called bossy when I was in uh, school because I was very you know, like, you have to do it, you have to do it. And people are like, yeah, but I want to relax as well. And I'm like, you've been relaxing for the next, for the last three hours. How much more do you want to relax? So uh, I wasn't always the preferred teacher to my students. But I was doing it for a reason. It's because you pay... I don't think that's true, though. It was, there were some students that really couldn't work with me. And yeah, I understand because I'm not... people. That's I the thing. If you want to work true. with me... The thing is that if you want to work with me, you need to understand that I'm really... If you don't put in the effort to do it, you're wasting an opportunity and a luck. And in a weird way, it sounds harsh, but you're also wasting my time because I can give this time to someone that really desires to learn. Mm. That's, that's also the difficult part with paying schools. You know, the luck of having the money to pay for a school to go to it. You, you, get whoever you want before it was selection this sounds so harsh I sound so communistic right now <laughs> but anyways sorry Marianne what were you saying I got very passionate again yeah but I mean you're right I do think that school should be free for the yeah I uh, think I don't I do think it's a good idea to have them for free schools to have them for free yeah. Why? I don't know, in this day and age... Ah, like that you mean? Sure, I understand. Yeah, people tend to not respect things that come for free. And they don't take it seriously. And okay, I understand and I agree with you. It's difficult to manage. Yeah, but you have the chance to go like, I don't like you, get out of my class, goodbye. But now it's kind of hard to do that because you kind of hurt the poor but butterflies nowadays. I think, so you, can't I really think do you it. should have the same chance, even if it's uh, even if it's paid for. Yeah, of of course, of course, I believe I, I understand what you mean. It's, it's not like you can, you know, like you, you can't really take. Like if you have a clown in your class and that clown paid, it doesn't matter if he paid or not, he's disrupted. He should be yeah. taken care of. Yeah, so yeah everybody should have equal opportunities when it comes to this. Yeah, then and uh, that's maybe a problem with the... Um, uh, uh, well, problem of the expectation with the paid schools because you automatically think when you are paying for that that you are going to be good and maybe some people forgot they, they still have to put the effort and the... Oh, uh, you're so uh, right. It's like when I started the school, I thought that I was the shit, like the best, that's what I mean by the shit. I was like, yeah, I'm so good, I'm gonna do so great and then I was like mind struck by all of these other super talented people and I was like, oh my god, where did this came from? Mm. And someone actually said, there will always be someone better than you. And that's very true. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we will not have competition and we won't be able to grow. And that's the fun part about having someone that's better than you. Than you. you keep on, um, whatever, competing with that person. Uh -huh. Of course, you're not going to go and kill them. We don't do that stuff anymore also, here, like, okay? If, if you see... I think regarding that, that's pretty much, I don't know, arts should be like that, you know, give you a little bit of incentive, work harder, there should be a tough competition, I, and I think that's why usually people improve in the paid art. Yeah, I mean, uh, we all have to... Usually in the ones that are for free. Mm -hmm. I don't know, in my experience, also the standard kind of like lower and lower and lower. And it's usually because... Like, for example, with the state education, which is free, but it's really, like, it's 
which will be the shittiest thing. It's not really... Um, I don't think it's really an addition. And it's mainly because uh, they hire unprofessional people. Mm. And people who don't really practice this as a... You know, like, they're, they're not painters. So it's kind of like difficult to learn from someone who is not doing it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, because uh, if they don't have... Uh a way to pay them to be uh, worth it for them, they they won't come. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think that's fair enough, but I think it affects quality of the education. Yes. Affects yes. Too much. It affects the culture in a very bad way. Mm -hmm. And the mentality uh, overall. Yeah. Because I don't think that happens only in art. I think it happens in most fields here. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the education, but the quality is kind of like going down every year. It's happening in Russia as well. When I was talking to a Russian teacher from the Repin Academy, he said the same thing. The quality of the students is dropping. It's not the same uh, high quality as they used to get before. So I understand what you mean by paying schools and making them for free yeah but it's also because it, in russia it used to be like if you were a painter it used to mean that you have you know high status in society yeah but uh, i don't know right now it's i don't think that thing exists anymore it's kind of like no, I don't think so either, but somehow you you can't fool people. There are some people that can see it and they can appreciate it, to be honest. Like yeah. I was actually amazed when I got this job to make these posters for people, uh, for this person that, uh, you know, it's like movie poster. I was like, ah, what the hell? Nobody even knows that I actually do this stuff. And then he tells me that one of the group for one of the illustration that I'm supposed to do is sold out. And I was like, what the hell? And then he told me, yeah, people got very excited when they found out that it was you. I was like, what? So I feel so happy to see that there are people that actually knows me. Because I always thought that people don't have any idea of who I am as an artist. So mm. I think I think you'll be pretty amazed at how much people can really appreciate you. They just don't tell you because they don't care about connect some people don't care about connecting really with the artist but if they can connect with your work they automatically connect yeah. with you if you understand what i mean yeah that's true yes. but i i was pretty much referring like during soviet times to be a painter because you can only parallel that society i think that's closest to us mm. being a painter back then meant a pretty huge deal because you were I don't know, you had special privileges if you were really good at that. But right now, that doesn't happen. And also, the younger generation of teachers, they're not the best. The best are not, are preferring not to be teaching, you know? Like me! Well, yeah, and also like the Novoslo, for example. Yeah. Novoslo doesn't teach anymore. He, d he doesn't, he stopped. Oh, man. Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit. And it's mainly with a lot of painters. Like, they prefer to spend their time on... Damn, he was, like, amazing as a teacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. He was an amazing teacher. I just loved just listening to... It's like a book. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, uh, well, as I know, there's a lot of Asian people going to the Ripon Academy and studying there. And their quality is really, surprisingly, really amazing. I mean, of course, the majority of them goes into digital art. And I remember Sean showed me some, oh my god, some amazing digital Asian um, artists. And I was like, 
Yeah, but it's mainly because they treat schools like factories. Dude, so... this is a stream. Stop being <laughs> racist. No, <laughs> joking. No, but it... no, they really like it's so hard competition like, in that country that they yeah, have yeah, to yeah. fight for it. No, I understand what you mean. I'm just being stupid. And it's also like uh, they're a lot more disciplined than in any other parts of the world. So it's kind of like, of course, they give results. But I'm, I'm not sure in terms of creativity how well. Like, so far, they're pretty much dating. Yeah, they kind of so. they kind of have the same style. I've noticed that as well. It's nothing yeah. unique and how they work. But that's the same thing with the, most of the ateliers people come out of. A lot of them uh, draw the same. So it's not that much of a difference. Yeah. And it's the same with uh, some companies or some uh, games. Like if you're working for that, you, you got to you got make out that style of that thing. I think it uh, the style uh, or the things that are alike. It's because of the way that it's thought or way that uh, the things are done. Mm. By the way, guys, don't forget to check the chat from time to time if someone asks uh, a question. Where did you buy the long brush? The long brush? Yeah. Who asked that? Yeah. Okay. Key. I'm gonna. Zero, zero I'm gonna show him a long brush. I'm gonna show you guys what a long brush is. One day when I have a bigger workplace, my lord, eh, the things that I wanna do eh, with my art. Eh. Okay. Let me see how the screen shows so I can show you guys what a long brush is. Voila. This is a long brush. Ooh. I can actually do like wizardy with it. Watch. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I remember I was uh, I saw this uh, Soroya pictures. Uh, when he was painting, I think it was this old woman with this young child and he was having like two brushes. His palette was somewhere on a, a small little chair and he was just painting like this. Ah, uh, uh, one day, one day I will have that as well. <laughs> I will find that picture and one day I will just put it somewhere on the stream so people will see like, oh, this is her dream. Oh, <laughs> good luck. So you never know. Ah. Uh, one day I will have it. Whew. Let me check. Rush, it's showing up very clearly. I paint too. Do you have one drawing painting classes, Sasha? You should tell. Casey Bao, I know that guy. Daniel Kane wrote, uh, that guy uses all sorts of technique with charcoal and water and stuff. I'm gonna check that, thank you. It's showing up very clearly. Ah, I'm so happy. There's been a bunch of people chatting onto here. I'm actually super happy. And the painting is starting to look pretty interesting. I'm nearly done here, so... Oh, you're merely done! You know, you will never be done with a painting, right? With what I want to do with you, okay? No, the painting is never done. You merely finish it, you know? That's what the artists say about their art. Alright, I'll, I'll uh, get my notebook and try to... Yes, you should. It's wisdom here. We don't give that easily to people. No, just joking. But no, we should definitely write that down. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the face and go gently towards the bird and the background. Let's see my digital sketch. Where is it? Uh, yeah, it's gonna look the good. The bird is the word. Huh? The bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird is a word, bird, bird, bird. There's one painter that I've been looking at a lot, and I'm actually Jeff Jones, Catherine O'Hara. 
Uh, let me remember how you did this. This painter, uh, she is purely amazing. And I'm quite inspired by her work. I'm not sure if I can actually do it like her because I shouldn't really paint like her. Let's see, copy, paste. There you are. Okay. Here, you, can, you guys can see it on the stream. So she, that painting, I just adore it. Wow. I mean, you can clearly see that it's not just a la prima. I'm just doing a la prima. I might actually finish this as it is. And then we can actually have fun and distort it, destroy it, change it. You know, take the palette knife, take a rug and just scrape off the face. We'll see if I'm going to do that. But I want this one to be an experiment on the live stream. I think it can be quite fun. Yeah. But that uh, woman, she was a comic book artist and I think then she kind of switched towards fine art and I don't know, she has something that just really appeals to me and the way she did the background, again, I, I doubt I can do that in Alla Prima. That's definitely more than one layer. So I'm gonna look it's, into that. It seems like it's not. Yeah, it does. It really, really does. But again, I'm no expert. So. I'm actually gonna show you guys what I did digitally, so you guys can just see from <laughs> where I started and where I ended up. I think it can be fun to do that. Okay, now let's take some poppy oil. I'm gonna work a little bit with the background, and I want some some poppy oil in here so I can do some. Maybe? What will this one look like? Oh yeah, that works. A little bit of green. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh yeah, I remember the, the thing about what destroys my brushes too. Ah. Uh. That blue. Appar apparently it's not that good for your brush, but... It's oh really? Huh. Because uh, sometimes it sticks to the hair um, brushes. Yeah, careful with those brushes. I'm actually gonna paint some clouds. Well, I'm pretty rough with my brushes as well, as you guys can hear. But this brushes that I'm buying them, it's a shop here in uh, Sweden. <sighs> huh. And uh, apparently the brushes, they actually order them from Germany, but they put their own brand name onto them. It's the ones that you also use, uh, Marianne, that I bought for you. I think they're the best brushes I've ever had, actually. E.B. Wallström? Yeah, the E.B. Wallström ones. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, I really, really like them. I'm gonna keep on going anyways. I don't care. I'm so into it. Where's my cat? Yeah, she's sleeping. <laughs> she's I think sleeping. It's five at their place. Huh? I think it's five in Sweden. Yeah, yep, I think it's that's, five. that's enough time. When have we started? I have no idea. I'm having too much fun to even check. I think uh, 20 or 30 minutes past 2, something like that. Yeah, probably. 
No. Mm. But it's so good to be so into what you're doing that you don't care about the time. Like the best mm. feeling. Yeah, it's, I, I have to admit, I think I told people some time ago when they were on live stream, it helps me. I just need to make sure that this is sharp. It helps me so much to focus somehow. At the beginning, I was so nervous because this is an oil. When I was doing ink or pencil, it was way easier. But just having people like Axe Giant, he's been with my stream since I started streaming. So he's always been like uh, there. And uh, now there are other people that keeps coming back. So that really makes me keep this going. I really appreciate it. I want her to have this kind of, uh, how do you call it? So, um, <coughs> nice, like, to work while, uh, while you are talking with someone. It's really nice. Some people can't do it though. I am I'm one of those people that can work and talk at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, my boyfriend can do it, but when he's at the stage of creating, it depends. I mean, this work that I'm yeah. doing is not that, you know, like subject wise, nothing deep in that way. But uh, if I was working on something that's really important, I might not even stream it, to be honest, because I have to focus. Yeah, uh, I feel the same when it's about creating or uh, when you when you really need that creative and that mindset. It's really hard to be sometimes near people at all. Yeah. Like in my case, I really just like to be with myself and uh, figure stuff out. It's mostly because I don't. I'm not that comfortable with my skill uh, to I mean trust me I'm, work I'm, process I'm, always yeah but I I was the same so I think when you have the chance to feel more at ease with yourself you should definitely show people your process because it's really nice to help people yeah it is I am like I think the m biggest satisfaction I had as a teacher is to see the process. Like, uh, there was one student, uh, uh, Jimmy. Uh, I really liked that guy. And when he started, it was just, he was at zero. It was really difficult. But I've learned so much with him. And now when I see what he can do, it makes me like, so happy it's mm. unbelievable how much dedication can help someone improve yeah, it's so important to have uh, someone near you that uh, keeps you going mm -hmm. it does okay i'm gonna move the camera a little bit back oh my god i hope i'm not gonna bump into it to be honest, I don't even know where uh, I would be now if it weren't for some people. Yeah. I mean, I be, I still do art, but not at this level. <sighs> it's an amazing feeling, isn't it, to mm -hmm. have good people? Because I told you, when I was young in Romania, I had teachers that made me cry. And it wasn't like constructive... Uh, critique or anything they were just being assholes why are you painting yeah. this why are you copying this uh you should be more creative you should just stop doing that stuff blah, blah, blah. I, I had the same thing but uh, i was so stubborn so i didn't care at all at what they say that was just i'm doing what they want so screw you all yeah well it wasn't like that in my case. I never got good grades because the teachers didn't like me. So I actually finished high school with very low grades <laughs> for what I could do, that's for sure. Because I was stubborn, I wasn't doing anything. I was never going to their classes. They were such envious people, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, 
and this is something, I mean, envy is one of the deadliest sins in the Bible. And there are so many people that has this feeling and they don't want to admit to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not hard to stay true to your feelings and admit your mistake. It's the most healthiest to yes. just admit it. Okay, let's take a big brush. But again, so that you can say for art too, like the example that you gave a while ago. Mm. Um, I know I'm not good at this thing, but I have to go and practice it again. But I practiced so many times. Why do I have to practice it again? But you really know that you should because you don't understand it that well as you think. There's always something to practice and learn. We sound so wise. <laughs> no, but it is. It's always good to be open and take critique. Look, I'm doing abstract art. <laughs> oh my god, it already dried out. Jeez, this, I kind of like this canvas. Even though it's synthetic, it's so nice because it just dries out. That sounds funny coming from a person that doesn't like acrylics, but in some area it's just spot on that it just gets Especially this way. Especially when you're doing Gala Prima. Yeah. I mean, if I was doing this in pencil, this would have taken me such a long time. So, yeah. My kitty is so cute sleeping in bed. She, she doesn't have a... She doesn't have a care in the world. Yeah. Okay. This is so much fun, just taking the brush and just mushing color onto there. So much fun. Have you worked in gouache? Mm, no, not really, but I have used white gouache on my watercolors at the point because I just failed uh, keeping the, ca uh, the paper clean. So, yeah. But it's cheating. Mm. Go kill yourself. <laughs> I'll have that meme. I'll send it to you. Go kill yourself. So tired of when I hear people, you're cheating, you're cheating. Mm. Mm, okay, I'm so for real. It depends. I mean, for God's sakes, if you're just tracing pictures and then just painting them and making them super realistic, like the picture, then what's the point? But in some cases, it, it, exactly. Marianne, what do you have to say regarding what? Cheating. Regarding what I said, yeah, cheating. Off I with their heads! I think it depends who sets the rule of the game. Ah, that's one reason I like Marian. So, cheating... I mean... You can do whatever you want. As long as it looks good and it's what you want. Cheating is not your participating in a competition and you're like, you have strict It actually looks good with the... Uh, I don't know, uh, what colors with the... Uh, white gouache or... Mm -hmm. And it's also like most of the, you know, the Andres Zola watercolor are kind of like done with that technique used a lot of gouache too. Oh yeah, he did. He did so much. I mean, I saw his watercolors, and I know that you as well when you were here in Sweden. And oh my lord, he used so much gouache. That's a guy that never cared. I 
I don't think anyone's getting back then. No, I don't know what. This is a new thing of, you know, caring about. Uh, I think that's with everything. Yeah, yeah but. Uh, that. Yeah, I yeah. think I mostly hear cheating in art, maybe because it's the most, uh, the thing that I most, I'm most interested in. But in other subjects, are the are is this a topic? Is this a topic? Wait, wait what do you mean? I don't understand. Uh, the cheating when it's not uh, regarding art, like uh, in other professions. Yeah. There are hacks in any profession. Mm. But I mean, it's like if you do it just as a, you know, an insecurity, or you just do it because you want to what you're making, I think there are just reasons. Doing it for the wrong reasons, I think, becomes more obvious that. You oh, I see. To cover your mistakes, so I think in any you have that uh, you have easier ways to do things and harder ways. And I think it's kind of like in art, especially in the in this thing, the watercolor and gouache. I don't know. It, it is harder to use the transparent. Look. Achieve values, colors you want, but at the same time, if that's not what you're striving for, you want something else, then I don't know. You can use whatever you want, whatever mm -hmm. happy. But I, I just heard a lot of people that's cheating. I don't understand why. Because not to, like, to de uh, deceive them, you know. It's to just... Watch and then say that it's not. Famous. It's just happy mistakes, you know. And I don't know, the people who really think, like, genuinely, that that's in car mainly people who don't do themselves and they think that kind of you know seek way to make it nice or something mm. and they think that oh she used wars then she's not a real that's the that's another thing like when i hear people saying like what's a real artist i'm like what's a real human I mean, of course, you need to have certain standards, I guess, because we do have a lot of people that does art, and it's a bit confusing when I look at it. I'm like, I don't get it. And according to definition, art is uh, it's everything, first, or everyone. But according to old definition like a master of your craft pretty much like that's what an art and that's how separate himself from yeah and I had more kind of that you know that definition the modern one yeah it's so interesting how the term and the role of the artist evolved over time and how they were be, uh, perceived by the majority of people I'm not sure if it uh, sorry I'm not sure if it uh, evolved I think it's kind of it, like it uh, changed in, in some way yeah the art yeah. is doing for another reasons and things yeah, that's true. That's meant like it's kind of like uh, it diminished over time. Now it's not 
as an important thing. Although, I think now it is. It is as important as, as it was. Because now it's a, it's a form of entertainment more than ever. And uh, it has a big impact on the society. Yeah, that's true, but now it also has, you know, it has movies, video games, I don't know, photography and all of this. And uh, people are pretty much confusing, you know, painting with photography, for example. Like, uh, it's like, it's very photographic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in that way. Yeah, I've noticed. I mean, it's something that I think I was talking to another friend at the point. I mean, what's the point of you painting photographic? Sure, it's it is a technical thing. It's not. Uh, I don't think it's something easy in that way to do. I think. So, I'm not sure. It that's actually a very good topic. Uh, to talk about, to be honest. So. What to uh, drawing photography? Yeah. Uh. I think it's uh, hard to really communicate this because people have so much mixed feelings about it. Yeah. So and many expectations about what it should be and. Uh, there are so many expectations uh, and different approaches that it's hard to uh, point to a single one and say that is correct, that is incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, here we go. My camera died again. I need to change the battery. I'm gonna get into the birds soon. Uh, This is very different than I usually paint. I mean, maybe at the point I will do it more realistically. We'll see. I might go back into it again and might ruin it, but I think I will try to do this with you guys on the stream. I think it can be quite fun to see where this will go and people can see. See, are you guys still there? Yeah. Uh, okay, it looks good. It's a bit blurry, but I'm trying to show you guys everything. Yeah, in the end, I will get inside uh, into the bird soon. Okay, there you go. I'm just trying to figure out a little bit the layout because it's gonna be a square picture. So it can be very nice to put on Instagram. <laughs> so yeah. Ah, social media. Yes, social media. Stay connected. Never disconnect. Yeah, the social media is very anti-social. Well, we're communicating a lot through texts. That's one reason. Yeah. At the point, I was feeling like, ah, eh, why not? Let people see me if. Because I'm very conscious, like, oh my god, everybody's seeing me right now, so whatever. At least they can uh, connect differently with me. I think that's one reason people like comedians, like Joe Rogan, and so on, has so much popularity, is because people can see them, they're physically there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, presumably. And you don't feel so alone? Yes! I don't feel alone! Well, so that, that was the thing for me when I uh, went to the Twitch and uh, or YouTube and watch streams. Mm -hmm. um, it helped me like focus. Uh, Sometimes when I didn't felt like listening to music, it was like I was working with someone, even though that person didn't know that I worked with them. But I think it's something nice when, uh, in my case, 
I don't like always being alone, but I have some activities where I love and enjoy just being on my on my own. So yeah. I think I like being more on my own, but because mm. Ma majority of time speaking, because I I'd go insane if I uh, would be alone for a long time. Yeah, but that that was my issue. I got to a point where I was so goddamn alone. Uh, I remember calling my boyfriend at work and going like, "I'm too alone. Say something, damn it!" And I was like, "Just go out." And I was like, "I want to draw, but I feel lonely." <laughs> what a drama. So yeah, I, uh, that's one reason I really enjoy being on the stream. Uh, we're gonna have a live stream and we're just gonna paint clouds. That's gonna be funny. Happy fox, happy fox. Yeah, I think I am pretty much done with this. Holy cow. I'm not. I'm just getting started somehow. The face, I mean, I, I know that I still want to paint on the face, but... Uh, let's see, it's 5.21. I think I can work on the bird. I just need to make sure that it's placed correctly before I continue with it. I mean, even if it's gonna be more of an abstraction, this painting, it's fine. It was my very first live painting that I've done. So, uh, where is my brush? Uh, this one. Okay, let's put in that circle that I was thinking about. Look. Um, is this clean? Yeah. Don't forget to check the chat for me, guys. Yep. Thank you. I think Please. people are gonna start heading home now, so there are not gonna be that many people on. Uh, do you edit more scans of your pencil or paint just to make it? The same as a paper. Wait, I need to reread that. Wait one second, I'll check. Some people left. Okay, do you edit your raw scans of pencil work or paint just to make it look the same as when? Oh yeah, it's it's really hard. How is your view on slight edit, like little more brightness, contrast, sharp? That's such a hard uh, thing to do. When I take photos of my work, I'm so obsessed. I check it via my mobile, my tablet, my screen, my boyfriend's screen. Because the screens are all... Um, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, Calibra calibrated. Calibrated very differently. Uh, for example, I actually fixed the work on my screen and it looked exactly like the drawing. And when I printed it out, it was way too dark. So that's... I was thinking like, oh my God, I wonder how people are seeing this on their screen. So it is frustrating. I, I really despise taking uh, photos of my work. I really don't like it. I've seen some people and uh, I, I do that sometimes, like editing bits of um, uh, your photo to be more like the um, original piece, which is traditional. Mm. Because so, sometimes if you have a crappy camera as I have, um, the contrast and the colors are not really what you'd want. Yeah. And sometimes editing, uh, it's a bit a big help for that. I think that's the tricky part for us artists, pl uh, putting our work online. I think I'm so conscious when someone wants to buy a work from me, I'm like, oh my God, I hope, I hope the picture is the way the original looks like. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, uh, really hard to really figure that one out. Yeah. I mean, it's like um, commercial images, you know? Oh, mm -hmm. come to Tahiti and they show you the most saturated, high contrast picture, looks perfect. And then you go there in real life and you're like, the hell am I at? This is dull. So... Okay, guys, we're gonna get into the bird pretty soon. I just had to fix some stuff. I don't know how this will be. I just need to place in the sky. 
Oh. Yeah, I'm going to cut this uh, paper. Uh -huh. So I'll be back. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm already running out of pallets. Oh my god. Now, if this was done in pencil, oh, ho, ho. takes so much time, pencil. I don't know if I'm going to come back to it again. I might actually just experiment a little bit with it. See what happens. It might be quite fun to repaint the face a little bit, fix some values, some contrast in it maybe. Uh, figure out uh, the thing she's wearing. Let's see. <laughs> so what are people going to do this Friday? I'm going to check a little bit the chat. So if you guys have any other questions before I get into the bird, you may ask. Uh, someone asked what kind of camera do you use? Uh, Canon 80D. That's the one I use right now. But if you, I mean, uh, you need to look into it because I, uh, when I uh, was looking to see how I can film with my SL, uh, with my camera, apparently I had to buy a program which was very expensive. But apparently there's a streamer that figured out that if you make your computer think that your camera is a webcam, you can actually use it. So it's something about HDMI port, port or something, I forgot the name of it. And you connect that HDMI to a USB and then your camera basically becomes a webcam. Uh, I didn't do that anymore because I already bought this program that works really well. It's called Sparkle Cam. I really like it because I can zoom in on the work without having to always uh, fix the lens. Okay guys, let's go into the birdie. First I need to clean up my palette a little bit. Oh no, she's not doing digitally, she has to clean up her palette, boring. I know, I know, it's what it is. Let's clean it up a little bit, where's my palette knife? There it is. Ah, uh, I never thought I would do this again. But here I am scraping my palette, cleaning it up so I can have room to paint. <sighs> it's so boring. God, I hate doing this. One reason I really enjoyed digital is because of that. I don't have to go through the process of cleaning up my palette. I think I'm gonna actually work on some personal work uh, when I do like more than one layer. I think it can be quite fun for people to see. This one has been uh, quite of an experiment for me. Yeah, so this is how it goes. I have to scrub it out a little bit. Usually when I clean up my palette, I have uh, a cheaper oil that's made for oil, not like cooking oil. And uh, I just put the oil on the palette. I don't want to use turpentine because I don't want to damage my palette. Uh, since this is the only palette that doesn't destroy my wrists pretty much because I used to have really bad wrist problem in my left hand. Like car carpal syn syndrome, whatever it's called. And uh, I had, tunnel. yeah, actually my right, I can already feel like a certain tingling in my thumb. So I need to be careful. It's what it, it's the risk that comes with being an artist, I guess. Okay, let's see. I need to take this one down and then start working on the board. Ta -ta 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 I gotta love this easel. It's like a little machine, like making it roll. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, back. Welcome back. We're gonna start painting the birdie. I'm just gonna... Hey, pointy, pointy. I'm gonna make sure that I zoom enough. By the way, fun fact about the uh, wrist, uh, wrist problem. Yeah. I always uh, heard um, artists saying that they had so many problems with the wrist because they draw so much. Yeah. And because of that, I thought I never draw that much because I didn't have. No, that. it's not that. And after. Um, I started doing sport again. I started um, feeling some pain because I stay in hand pretty much at the sport I do. And uh, I was pretty relieved. I can say that, that I'm working very hard and I have wrist problems. Oh my god! I, I don't think it's such a good thing. No. <laughs> I have a friend. I can't pronounce his name, but I've met him in real life. Trolls! We always uh, make a little bit of a fun, we call him Trolls. He is my World of Warcraft buddy. Nice. Yeah. We've been painting for a while, I can tell you that. Great, the worst reference of this bird. Couldn't I find a higher rest of it? Okay, I need white. I looked better at what I've done and I see, saw that I have some value problems and I'm working on that very low again. Mm -hmm. What problems again? Value problems. Value? Oh, and the other drawing you mean. Okay, this is good. Because it, uh, it doesn't read it that well as I want it to. Make it readable then. Green. Oh yeah, make sure that when you guys paint, have a shirt that you don't care about. So if I don't look sexy on the camera, it's because I kind of don't care. But also I don't care because I don't want to fuck up my good clothes. <laughs> so sexy. Um... This is hard. The struggle of having paint in your clothes. Yeah. Oh, the, the amount of clothes I have ruined is insane. I know. I ruined so many good clothes. Ugh. My I mother, my mother is so funny. She saw a picture with me at the school and she's like, why do you dress up like that? Why don't you dress up nicer? I'm like, are you joking? Seriously, I'm painting. Do you, does it really matter what I'm having on? No. But maybe. Eh. <laughs> well, you know, my mom. She. You wear yeah. I'm trying to figure out this bird a little bit because I have like tons of references with it. So I need to make sure that this is gonna work. Yeah, okay, I understand. Ah, let's paint the face, the head of the bird. Uh, what's this here? Oh, that's so cute. Mm -mm -mm. So, huh? What, what is your favorite animal besides horse to draw? I don't know, lately I love drawing all animals. Since I started doing that, um, how do you call it? That big ink drawing that I did. I've actually got really into all animals. So, yeah. With ink you discover more power. Pretty much. Yes, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> no, but it's really fun. I, I mean, my favorite animal is... Oh, favorite. I mean, I love my cat, but I love horses because they're so dynamic. You can see muscles and everything, so maybe that's one reason I really love uh, horses. Because they're so much fun to paint. I might actually paint a horse next time. 
just for the fun piece. Well, with this part, I don't know how much I'm gonna invent. It has to be this specific little head. So we'll see how that's gonna go. One reason I chose that is because it has this very reddish face. I forgot, I think it's an endangered uh, species. I, I forgot the name of it, I need to check it out. No, I think we have a question. Who, you? Uh, there are many artists who don't make progress in art. How do you view that? That, wait, what? Sorry. There are many artists who don't make progress in their art. How do you view that? Um, it depends on the person. If they're content with the result they're getting, good for them. If they're depressed and they want more, sucks for them. They have to work around it and find a way to deal with that. I mean, I, I had a period in my life where I feel like I'm stagnating, I don't do anything. And I think it was actually the guy on the stream, Trolls. I think I was in World of Warcraft. And I think, I don't know what I was complaining about. And then he was like, but what about your art? And that echoed in my head. What about your art? 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 I was like, oh my god. And I think I remember I logged it, uh, logged off from World of Warcraft and I was like, I have to focus on my art. I can't do this any longer. So, yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of people that stagnate. I don't judge them. I can point out things. But... As I said, I don't know exactly what they want, but if I know them and they tell me, I can help them. But in some cases, it did happen with some of my students. They weren't progressing, and it's all up to them, because I did give them all the skills they need to understand what it means to get better. It's just the mental pressure of it. I think that's what kills... kills. <laughs> Sounds so sad. What kills a lot of artists. It's that mental pressure people have to go through. I have to go for a few minutes, but I might come back. Mm hmm Sure. Well, say goodbye if you're not gonna come back. Yeah, but if I'm not saying good goodbye, then I will come. Ah, okay, okay. I mean, it's a uh, it's a uh, more pressure, but. I'll say it just uh, just to be sure. Yeah. But I hope I come back. Um, well, thank you for the talk. It was very awesome, and I hope to see you again later. You betcha. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice evening, right? Good luck. Thank you. Oh no! Now I'm stuck with Marianne. So Marianne, what you up to? Marianne, what? I'm drawing. I'm drawing. You're drawing, I see. I'm painting. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna leave the chat on if people ask more questions. Let's see where I can place it. Yeah, I always say that I want to paint it. I want to paint all the time. Okay, so I guess there are more people onto the stream right now. If you have any questions, please ask. Right now I started painting a bird. So if it looks a bit weird, it's in the process of becoming something. So hold your pants and don't rush it. Hold your panties. I guess a lot of you guys just came home from work. Depending on where you live. I forgot the name of the species. I will look it up and see what's the name of it. Uh, 
I am uh, doing a la prima right now. I will still go back into it. It's a lot of, of it from imagination. I mean, right now I am using a specific reference for the bird. But like I said, I will actually show people my process on how I fix my references and so on and so forth. I uh, tend to actually uh, do before a certain sketch in Photoshop. I, I drag my references in Photoshop, I manipulate them in Photoshop because I'm not uh, very lucky to have models for myself all the time, so I have to find other ways of doing it. It's what it is. So if you have any questions, I can answer them. But let them be constructive questions. I can tell you guys what I've been eating today. I ate some ham and cheese, and that's it. I'm the worst person when it comes to eating. I'm amazed that I still stand. There's gonna be feathers. I'm gonna... Hey, coffee cat! How's it going, girl? Haven't done a live stream in a while. Yeah, like last week I was very absent. I had to work on my stuff so I can actually pay the rent and stuff. So now I'm back. I might disappear again, unfortunately. Duty calls. So I thought that I should keep my promise and do a painting live. I haven't painted in a while, so like like I said, so I, I I don't know if you guys should expect the best painting ever, but it was really fun doing this live, and I think we've been going for three hours and twenty three minutes, so it's been a while with this stream. I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit more. Wow. Yeah. Exams. You know that after all of these years, I still have nightmares that I'm taking exams and I'm failing them? Talking about PTSD? God, I hated school. It stressed me out so much. But go and rest, and hopefully I'll see you soon again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna figure out the clothing a little bit on her. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would you be able to do commission full time if you wanted? Yeah, I think I can. Thank you, Coffee Cat. Now go and rest. Well, Truels, it's not easy to just show painting techniques like that there's a process you should have been here like three hours and 25 minutes ago and you would have seen the process no uh with time i i mean i know that i promise people that i'll actually show them how to work on a barg and stuff like that uh but it's kind of hard to like really answer correctly people's questions regarding how you paint things and how you mix stuff for example people ask me sometimes how do you mix color and i tell them that it sounds weird, but I kind of feel the color. That's one reason I feel a little bit handicapped when I try to paint in Photoshop. I kind of don't have a sense of the color, which makes it very hard for me to paint in Photoshop in comparison to traditional media. I should try to put some music on. What happened to the music? Yeah, Bob Ross is the best. Love him. I love Bob Ross. Okay, I'm gonna add some music so it won't be just me babbling and Marianne being silent in the back. 
that I'm way too quiet. No, it's fine. I think we also need to focus. It can happen sometimes with a live stream. Uh, you have to focus. Let me know, guys, if the music is too loud. I mean, when it comes to painting, there's a lot of things behind it, and the most important thing is drawing. And then, you know, I have this conversation sometimes with Marianne, or most of the time, about what talent is. And talent is nice to have talent, but in the long run, it's also working really hard because if you don't work hard enough you don't develop but i think talent is like if you're a musician you need to have a voice otherwise you just use technology to just change and tune and stuff like that when it comes to art it's a little bit easier because you can learn technique but there's some artists and this will sound very cheesy that stands out quite a lot because they have something within them that shines through through their work and I think that's what talent is I mean in the gaming industry people uh, most concept artists when they get hired they don't really care about their talent they really want people that are really good at the, um, design and stuff like that and usually artists are so uh, the, the people that are very talented if I can say it like that they tend to have such an annoying ego that it's very hard to work with them. That's one reason most gaming companies, they prefer hiring uh, uh, people that are easy to work with rather than uh, people that are, you know, talented and whatever and stuff like that. Because uh, you need to be able to change things dramatically in this industry and if you're not able to do it, well, you're pretty useless to the company. Talent sometimes it's quite um a curse for the artist as well because he gets so stuck into wanting perfection that it stops him from actually or her from actually developing and that's really dangerous i think so in a long run yeah talent what is talent i guess it's very abstract the idea behind it I guess it's about individuals, so you can look at it like that, I guess. I like when I stop talking about it, the music stopped as well. Yeah, it really depends what you want to do with your talent. I mean, talent is talent in cooking. Talent in cleaning. I have no idea how many people I've seen that has no idea how to cook, uh, to, to cook, how to clean. It's embarrassing. So, yeah, there's different uh, talents in this world. I mean, I wish I could play piano, but I don't think I had enough talent to really go for it. Definitely, I would like to sing, but I don't think I have enough talent there to be able to really sing. So I don't think that's gonna work. I think you guys are starting to see a little bit of bird, I hope. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. It's so amazing. <laughs> I'm so talented. <laughs> you're very good at it sure but to be honest this will sound again very harsh even though you're really good at it that doesn't mean that you're gonna succeed the world is pretty harsh you know so you can work really hard but somehow something is just obscuring you from actually making a living out of it so then you have to do something else to continue doing your art just nothing wrong with it it depends how you want to see it. Uh, 
I mean, for example, uh, I don't have a gallery. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to find a gallery that wants to work with me, but I think that my, my work is so randomly that I think that's the reason they kind of can't really work with me. I need to stick to one style, and we all know how good I am with that. Yeah, I mean, some people just love looking at television in their free time, and that's it. I mean, if that's what they love doing, sure. I mean, uh, like I, I said before, it's uh, not easy to be creative. It takes a lot of energy to create. Well, I am really happy that we have someone called Garbage Man. <laughs> I mean, they're doing their part. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so hungry. <laughs> I just want to solve this part before, and then we'll see. For sure, we're gonna continue uh, this one on the stream and uh, see how we will end up finishing it. Mariana, are you up for it next week? Yeah, sure. It's not like I have anything. Well, you never know, you might want to kill someone. Oh, sorry, one second, guys. Hey, Hendrik. Hey, I'm uh, live streaming, just so you know. Okay, I'll see you when you get home then. Hmm? Puss? <clears throat> Bye. Uh, yeah, trolls is gonna, it's actually a, uh, well, not really an eagle, it's a specific breed of eagle, so I just need to figure out the mouth, because it's also in perspective, so hopefully that's gonna look nice when I'm done with it. I mean, uh, I don't know if I'm really gonna finish this right now. Well, it's gonna be next week. I don't know if I'm gonna work on this one this weekend because I kind of want to start on my uh, commissions. So uh, I think... You know what you can do, Vegard? I'm not sure how you pronounce to pronounce your name, so I'm sorry. You should go on my site and just register to my newsfeed because I uh, actually send off emails when I have uh, uh, the next live stream. If you want to join, of course. I know, isn't it funny? Like most people uh, always see the end result, but this is one reason I wanted to stream and show you guys how much, you know, how shitty it looks at the beginning and how you kind of need to build it up to make it look nice. Everybody likes the end result, but to get there, ugh, it's a lot of hard work.
There you go. I think now with the beak, it looks a little bit better. And then we're going to have the other eye on the other side, of course. I'm just going to put a little accent over there. So then it's going to feel a little bit better. Misha, stay there. My cat has awakened. Yeah, that's actually a brilliant one. Turkey stage, and I'm glad that I pronounced your name correctly. I think I'm gonna name it like right now. We're gonna go through the turkey stage, which is the the tortured the turkey trying to live on in a very very sad looking state. So deal with it. But that's the beauty about oils, it's like you build it up and then all of a sudden you add one accent here, one accent there and it's like, huh, what happened? When did this change? I am getting a bit tired, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit slow in answering. No, I'm at home right now, painting. Uh, I don't uh, work at the school anymore. I stopped working there some time ago. I couldn't deal with the traveling anymore. It was, it really got to me, traveling all the time. Yeah, I think this will be more than an ala prima, to be honest, Marianne. What? I think this is going to be more than an ala prima. I think it can be quite fun to experiment more with it on the stream. Mm. I think I messed up my drawing. You messed up your drawing? Yeah. Well, you're still working on it, so it's not gonna be perfect, I guess. a little bit on the ham. Mm. Don't rush it. It's kind of like difficult to go back. Yeah, it was Hendrik, by the way. Uh, what did you say, uh, Maria? It's difficult to go back because I... Yeah, well... Uh, you push too much on the pens or on the pen or what happened? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that sucks. I need to make sure that I make the beak feel uh, feels like uh, coming forward. I've been standing for the last three hours. Ugh, my legs hurt. Okay, let's see. 
So this is where those academic skills comes into play very well, like where is this point in relationship to this point, in relationship to that point. So right now I'm just looking and constructing the bird. It looked funny at the beginning. See you. Bye bye, Vegard. Hello. I might actually work on it during the weekend if I feel like it. We'll see. Maybe this can be the painting of the live stream. Uh, I think I will uh, I will work more on it. We'll see if I'm going to change the face and stuff like that and make it uh, push the values a little bit more. can be quite fun. Oh, God, my leg. At least the bird looks more like an eagle. The sky that I'm painting looks like a llama shape. That's funny. Well, I think we're gonna stop soon as well. I don't think I can do this a la prima all the way, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys soon what we've been working on. Just adding some small references to remember what I'm after. I think I need to change a little bit over there. Let's see, we need white. And we need... Mm -hmm. What do we need in there? Misha, don't push my stuff. Don't 
gonna push myself into this gang. That was a bad board for you. Oh. Is it? Gank? Yeah. Oops. My bad. I didn't know it meant a uh, very bad word. <laughs> oh no! Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I've been doing. I'm gonna pick up the camera. If you have any questions, let it loose. Oh. Let's see. I need to see all of it. Okay, so. This is what we've been working on today. So it's, it's just something abstract. The canvas won't be this big. I'm actually gonna crop it at the point. Uh, I'm gonna make the clouds. I do wanna work a little bit more on her face. I feel like I can do a little bit more with it. We'll see. It's more of an abstract. It's not something super realistic. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry. I might go back again and darken a little bit here and there. I like like small little details of thick paint. Um, we all saw the crazy looking chicken starting to look more like a, an eagle. But yeah, this is this is it for now. I can't promise I will just keep it for the live stream. I'll do my best to just leave it and work with it on the live stream. We'll, we'll see how I feel. But here is my palette. Those are my colors. Where I clean up my brush. More stuff. My Coke that I barely drank from. I have this little brush holder. Yeah. I hope you guys had fun. Here's the little eyes, the mouth. There's some stuff that I really want to change, to be honest, but we'll see. Okay. I think that's about it. I'm actually amazed that I've managed to actually paint live. I did not expect it, to be honest. I thought it would be like doomed to failure, <laughs> but apparently it was okay. I haven't painted in a long time, but I'm pretty confident that maybe this painting will be something nice. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if you guys want to keep up with the site, I don't know where you subscribe and all that stuff. I do send emails via my emailing list. So if you want, you can go to my site, which is kapat.art and just register for the newsletter or you can, this sounds so ridiculous, follow me on Instagram and all of that stuff if you want to, of course. I'm not pushing anyone to do things they don't want. Oh my God, Sean. <laughs> Oops. Uh, to answer your phone. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm gonna have a friend coming by as well. Uh, Sean, I'm gonna call you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying with me almost four hours on this stream. I think I might download at the point the whole video and just make a time lapse of it. I think it can be quite fun 
to see it mostly at the point I disappeared from the image because I had to go and answer a phone or something like that so thank you so much guys and catch you later Mariano are you gonna say bye or something bye bye ah, good boy yeah have a nice evening guys ciao ciao